The sky is bright and the world is suffering. Chao Wufu was born out of nowhere. A fist can stand a person, and an arm can walk a horse. He just wants to be a quiet, low dot key, and meaningful honest person. How can our strength not allow it facing the sky full of experts, Chao Wufu smiled slightly. I just want to kill everyone, or be killed by everyone. Book Friend Group Number 52202185 Keywords of the Novel This warrior is so fierce without pop-ups, this warrior is so fierce. Download the complete set of TXT, and read the latest chapter of This Warrior is So Fierce. Chapter 1 Chao Su You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Chao Su Black Clouds Oppressed the City The Cold Wind Howled Xingguang Six Years Jiangning Prefecture Pingcheng A big bird with red eyes and gray feathers pierced through the dark clouds, flapping its wings and diving over the towering and heavy city walls. Buzz. The bowstring vibrated, and arrows flew out of the city. The flying arrow rose into mid-air and turned into a thin golden thread, as fast as a stream of light. In the blink of an eye, it pierced through its trunk, bringing out a string of bloodstains. Gee, the big bird let out a mournful scream. Fall upside down and fall into the city. The city is mainly composed of grey-white buildings, with towers, pavilions, and towers standing in all directions, with varying heights of eaves and corners. In the center, there is a square paved with blue stones. Surrounded by the square were some ragged people, who looked up with hungry eyes but showed a hint of fear on their faces and dared not approach the square too closely. The red-eyed bird fell rapidly and landed on the ground. There were some scattered bloodstains. But the corpse remained intact. Where is the government army? With a majestic voice sounded. Two strong armored soldiers walked over. Lift each one, pick up the big bird and leave the square. The slightly quiet crowd returned to its usual noisy and noisy state. Although people are used to it, they still talk a few words about it. Lord Wei's arrow technique is truly profound and unpredictable. This evil eagle looks so big, probably weighing over a hundred pounds. Chao Su stood at the outskirts of the crowd, watching from a distance as the two warriors easily carried away the bird corpses. He is 1.7 meters tall, with coarse linen and tattered grass shoes. His complexion is hungry and yellow, and his bones are thin and rugged. He is no different from the people next to him, and can even be said to be extremely ordinary. After Jia Xu entered the inner city, he left like the people around him. The environment outside Pingcheng is harsh, with a subtle smell of corpse odor. Wherever I go, there are some malicious gazes, staring at me recklessly. Chao Su tightened his collar and quickened his pace. Hiding in the crowd, suddenly turned around and walked in the opposite direction, then passed through a small alley. He quickly closed the courtyard door and returned home. The room is small and somewhat dark and damp. After hearing Chao Su enter the door, the man lying on the wooden bed sat up. ASU, have you returned? Hmm. Chao Su responded and didn't say much. Then there was a long silence, and the man lay down again. Chao Su took out two copper coins from his arms and placed them on the table. Silently walked to the stove and skillfully started chopping wood and making a fire he is not someone who likes silence, but at this moment, in this situation, there is really nothing to say. In addition, since he has just arrived, he is afraid of losing his words. It is better to practice closed mouth meditation. Previously, Chao Su was a quiet and reserved person, so he did not receive much attention. Chao Su occasionally lifted his head and happened to see the man on the bed also looking at him. The two exchanged a glance and then both smiled. The man in bed is much stronger than Chao Su, but now he has a broken leg and is unable to move. He is Chao Xing, the eldest brother of Chao Su, who happens to be twenty years old this year. Chao Su didn't know how to evaluate this big brother. At first, 
I thought he didn't understand the general situation and only knew how to show off his ferocity and fight fiercely, injuring his body and causing suffering for everyone. But as I deepen my understanding of the world, I realize that it is truly human beings in the world who cannot help themselves. In such a chaotic world, it is fortunate to be able to regain one's life. To this day, I am even more aware that the world is too dangerous. Everywhere are warriors, flying eaves and walls, and wielding over a thousand pounds is the norm. Birds are bigger than humans and after replacing Chao Su's soul with the idea of an excellent earth youth, he first discovered that his parents were still alive and his family was harmonious. Apart from being a little poor and ordinary, he had no appearance of being the best male lead or the conqueror of the plane. The only thing that made him feel a little relieved was that he also had a neighbor friend who had a good cultivation talent. Just last month, this neighbor girl was included in the Zhaoshan sect, one of the five gangs and three sects in this area. Subsequently, the neighbor moved out of the outer city and moved into the inner city under enviable, jealous, and indifferent gaze. If the neighbor girl grows up to look good enough in the future, and can even accommodate a few messy bees and scum butterflies, it will be even more exciting, indicating that his male lead's aura is still there. From this matter, Chao Su identified two social hotspots. Firstly, there is a significant difference in life between the inner and outer cities, and secondly, the status of a large number of disciples is enough to change the fate of ordinary residents. So, we still need to practice martial arts. To find a way to become a true powerhouse, otherwise in the end, one can only be left to be slaughtered. Chao Su continued chopping firewood for a while, but soon there was some movement outside the house. A medium-dot-sized square-faced man and a rough-skinned middle-dot-aged woman walked in and put down their carrying poles and baskets. These are the biological parents of Chao Su and Chao Xing, who earn a meager income by helping merchants with scattered small tasks. Axing ASU, we're back. The woman shouted. Chao Su stood up, and Chao Xing sat straight on the bed again. Today's military drill, the curfew has been advanced, and I returned earlier. The Fujian is the official force of Pingcheng, responsible for the tasks of guarding and maintaining public security in the city. Chao Su knew that the two soldiers he saw in the square today were the soldiers of the Imperial Army. After Chao's father sat down, Chao Su brought him a bowl of water. He took two sips and talked about some things. These days seem a bit different from before. Today, I heard old Wang say that the Zhang family living at the end of Zhulin Alley were robbed by a group of thieves and even killed two younger generations. Thief did the younger generation die? Chao Su's face changed. I think they are members of the gang. I have also worked for them in the Zhang family before, and they are a good family with spare money. The gang struggle is becoming increasingly fierce, especially our outer city gangs, which have no jurisdiction at all. Even the government army doesn't want to ask much. Ordinary people don't have the power to stand by and are inevitably targeted by the gang. Chao Xing had some understanding of the gang before. When ASU goes out to do things, he should also be more careful and never get into conflict with others. Chao's mother was a little worried about this quiet little son and advised him a few more words. I know, Chao Su nodded. Chao Su sighed inwardly that the pressure of life was too great, and he didn't expect to encounter social abuse even after crossing the country. After making a simple meal, Chao's mother went out to wash the clothes of the three old men. Chao's father continued to talk about his experiences, and most of the time Chao Su listened, occasionally interjecting and asking. My understanding of this world is becoming clearer and more three-dot-dimensional. When night falls. City curfew. The entire city is quiet like a giant beast crawling under the darkness, silent yet icy. The cold wind howled outside. A family of four huddled together on a bed to keep warm. For some reason, Chao Su tossed and turned and couldn't sleep. Open your eyes. Staring at the roof beam in a daze. He was thinking about these memories in his mind, and according to the reality he saw at this moment, 
the images in his previous memories were instead like an illusory dream, making it difficult to distinguish between true and false. If it used to be true, why is he here now and how did he come here? Chao Su didn't expect to go to bed soon, and he began to deeply question himself in philosophy. Who is he? Where did he come from? Where are he going? Coming from the Eastern Tang Dynasty and heading towards the Western Heaven so where is his monkey? I'm going to sleep, but I think more and more. Mandarin ducks and butterflies roost and fly together, the spring scenery in the garden is intoxicating, quietly asking the holy monk. Suddenly entering the single loop stage again. Severe insomnia warning. Chao Su flipped over again, his mentality exploding. He forced himself to count the dumplings, only to find that the more he counted, the clearer he became. From behind, there seemed to be a hallucination in front of me, and a game-like scene appeared. To be honest, I really miss QWR a bit. Hmm. He suddenly widened his eyes. Staring intently ahead. In the darkness, a character panel emitting a faint light suddenly appeared in front of me. Name. Chao Su Identity Ordinary people and pinching ordinary people, the evaluation is fair. Chao Su's eyes were filled with tears. Although cheats may be late, they will never be absent. Faced with such a simple and infuriating panel, he immediately looked up and felt like he could do it again. It seemed like he could start mountain reclamation and break through the sky tomorrow. Then there was a new round of turning over in bed. Thinking too much in the first half of the night, thinking too much in the second half in a daze, I heard the sound of my parents getting up. At this moment, the sky is still dark. At dawn, Chao Su woke up. Chao Xing also woke up and struggled to get up. Chao Su helped him complete his toiletries and toileting, and then left the door. The alley entrance still looked dirty, messy, and filled with a foul odor that had not been dealt with for a long time. When I turned around and walked onto the street, I heard scattered shouts. The noisy voices seemed to conceal a hint of oppression in life. The entire outer city area is a mix of good and bad. When we reached the entrance of Zhulin Alley, we heard cries of mourning. The atmosphere is solemn, with scattered yellow paper in the air and figures dressed in hemp and filial piety occasionally appearing. Chao Su saw several beggars in tattered clothes and touched them. From his attire, it can be seen that someone like him, dressed in simple yet clean clothes, has slightly better living conditions than a beggar. Chao Su didn't stay much, walked over a stone bridge, and came to a courtyard with blue bricks and white tiles. Before approaching the courtyard, one could hear a series of harmonies echoing one after another. The plaque at the gate reads. Wang's Martial Arts School. For large black characters. The gate of the martial arts school opened wide, and upon entering, a tall young man couldn't help but complain. Chao Su, how did you come? Come in and do something. New book upload, seek collection, seek recommendation. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Dark Tide. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Dark Tide Wang's Martial Arts School. Martial arts schools are a special type of force in the martial arts world. In the outer city of Pingcheng, martial arts schools are also a good unit that many ordinary people aspire to work for. It's not because of the good treatment, but because of the identity of working in a martial arts school, it can vaguely save a lot of trouble and give oneself an extra layer of protection. This is Chao Su's third day working at the Wang style martial arts school. He is a non staff training recorder. Although it is a non-official job, the difficulty of obtaining it is also very high. Just because the first item can recognize and write, it has already killed more than 90% of the people in the outer city in seconds. Chao Su has inherited his original memory, and with the hard work he has put into studying during this period, he has basically mastered this rare skill. He was not very old and had a simple identity, so he immediately stood out in the recruitment of the martial arts school. The main task is to record the martial arts assessments, daily expenses, 
and so on of the disciples in the martial arts school. In the courtyard, the strong men learning martial arts began to shout and harmonize. All of them focus on practicing boxing, supplemented by tools such as stone locks. Under the shade of the tree, a square table was placed, and Wei Kai, the cold-faced martial arts school attendant, sat there. In front of them were external disciples waiting for assessment, and beside them was the young Chao Su responsible for recording. Wei Kai is a middle-aged man with a goatee and is said to be the sworn brother of the martial arts school owner, Iron King Fist. For many years, he has been responsible for managing the internal and external affairs of the martial arts school, managing and developing the martial arts school. Chao Su carefully observed the disciple in front of him who came to assess. This disciple, at the age of 17 or 18, was naked and covered in flesh and tendons. It's early winter, and my physical fitness is average. Disciple Huse, pay respects to Master Wei. In the martial arts school, elders are referred to as teachers, and Wei Kai is a figure of the first generation of the school owner. Wei Kai nodded without speaking. Hu Zhe took two steps back. Hold your fists and lift your breath, and take a half squat with a horse step. He extended his arms and made a tiger-like gesture with his iron fist. Ha! Exhaling as if to open, he then followed the routine and completed a set of the most widely circulated iron fists in the martial arts school. After a set of punches, he was steaming hot all over. Oh! Not bad, there is hope for a powerful environment. Wei Kai's eyes lit up and after reading, he squeezed out a smile. Hu Zhe was also very satisfied with his performance and humbly said, Wei sure is overpraised. My disciples still have some way to go before reaching the power level. Step back now. Wei Kai didn't say much and nodded. Then he said to Chao Su, Hu Zhe's iron fist is small, and he can receive two bottles of qi and blood pills this month. Chao Su immediately picked up his pen and jotted it down in his notebook. Hu Zhe iron fist Xiao Cheng two bottles of qi and blood pills, surprisingly, Hu Zhe's junior brother has amazing talent. Two bottles of qi and blood pills, Wei Shi is going to focus on cultivating junior brother Hu Zhe. Many disciples couldn't help but have different thoughts when they saw Hu Zhe's excellent performance, and whispered a few words. Chao Su discovered that the disciples in the martial arts school were clearly divided into several circles. A genius disciple like Hu Zhe would hang out with a few wealthy children who seem to have a good family background, and the common disciples will be in another circle. He looked at it and then pulled out his panel to take a look. Still an empty two-line introduction. Yesterday, I was so happy to visit. Does this thing not even have an instruction manual? He studied it carefully and found nothing. This is an ordinary virtual panel. Apart from recording his identity information, he has nothing. Can there be some movement? Chao Su stared so hard at the panel that he looked completely stunned. Chao Su. Chao Su. A reprimand rang out. Chao Su was suddenly startled and saw Wei Kai's stern gaze, which made his heart skip a beat. Record carefully and don't get distracted. Wei Kai's tone was displeased. Yes. Chao Su quickly clenched his fists. Although you are not a disciple of the martial arts school, my Wang family martial arts school has always had clear rewards and punishments, and I work diligently. It will be a small matter to pass on an iron fist to you in the future. Wei Kaikuan said two sentences before stopping speaking. Chao Su's face showed a hint of joy. The Wang martial arts school is famous for its iron fist. The techniques of iron fist are simple, but the method of exerting strength and energy is also not easily passed on externally. Chao Su can barely remember the techniques of iron fist, but he doesn't understand the essence of it. Not to mention becoming an external disciple of a martial arts school, one must also become a named disciple in order to have the opportunity to receive the teachings of a boxer. To become a named disciple, if you are an outsider, you must pay ten tails of silver to become a disciple. 
Non-staff members of martial arts schools like Chao Su can reduce their expenses at their discretion. Even if certain conditions are met, one can directly learn from a teacher. It can also be considered a rare benefit for non-staff members of the martial arts school. In the evening, the martial arts school closed. Chao Su was wearing the washed white linen clothes and quickly passed through the alley. When passing through Zhulin Lane, several more officials patrolled here. The crying seemed to be quieter, but when it came through the quaint and quiet streets, it became even more desolate. The living mourned the dead, and the dead also watched the living. He looked around alertly. I always feel like there are troublemakers trying to harm him. The feeling of sharpness on the back only completely disappeared when I returned home. Close the door. He took a deep breath. ASU, have you returned? Chao Xing sat on the bed and looked at him. Hmm. It was the same conversation as yesterday. Not long. The fire at the stove lit up with a crackling sound, and the room became warmer. Chao Xing lay in bed, staring straight at Chao Su without saying anything. Both of them have their own ulterior motives. When my parents come back, it happens to be enough for a family of three to eat. A very simple dry rice with coarse grains, without meat or vegetables, half hungry and half full. After tidying up, the four of them sat at the table in a daze. Chao's mother talked about some trivial things she saw and heard today. Chao Su listened carefully, and from some small things, he could glimpse the origin of society. As we were chatting, a sudden and rapid knocking on the door rang out. Hmm. This is mostly late at night Chao Su felt a bit scared. Scalp tingling. Chao's mother pulled him away and together they found a place to hide. Chao Xing struggled and lay back in bed. Chao Fu and a few others hid well and happened to walk to the door, shouting alertly. Who? It's me, Wang Lin. Brother Wang. It turned out to be an acquaintance next door. A few people breathed a sigh of relief, and Chao's father opened the door. Taking advantage of the moonlight, Chao Su glanced from a distance. Uncle Wang next door has a strong and tall physique, with a beard all over his face. He can't see what his face looks like, and his head is wrapped in a white headscarf. He first chatted a few casual words, then lowered his voice and whispered a few words to Chao's father. Not long after, Wang Lin bid farewell and left. The door closed again. Chao's mother only then walked out and saw that Chao's father's face was uncertain. What's wrong? It's not a good thing. Chao's father shook his head and checked the door and windows again. A few people sat together, reporting to the group for warmth under the faint firelight. Wang Lin seems to be doing well. Chao Su thought to himself that having such a burly person these days would definitely mean he had practiced martial arts. Dad, what happened? Chao Xing asked with some concern. Father Chao sighed and shook his head. Half worried, half staged, with some confusion in my eyes. It is said that there is a certain teaching, as long as you join it, you can have food to eat. Is there such a good thing? Chao's mother heard that there was food to eat and her eyes lit up. In this world, being able to eat enough is the greatest thing. What and what does it teach? Chao Su was suddenly taken aback and instinctively felt something was wrong. No pie will fall from the sky, and a happy life depends on one's own hard work and struggle. The good thing of taking benefits from entering the door sounds like a foreign version of a pyramid scheme organization no matter how much it sounds. For a moment, many historical allusions such as Ning Yozhong, great sage and virtuous teacher, and White Lotus descends quickly popped up in his mind, and he smelled a hint of danger. Chao's father pondered for a few breaths, but couldn't express himself. What are you teaching? Don't be fooling around, children. What? Three question marks appeared on Chao Su's head. He seriously suspects that it was Daddy who forgot his name. How long has it been since then? In short, the whole family was very happy, as if they had heard some good news. 
Chao's only concern was joining such a gang organization, which seemed too risky. A common and ordinary small town resident, caution is ingrained in his bones. Isn't this a rebellious organization? Chao Su couldn't help but remind him that throughout his familiar history, early uprisings usually ended in failure, and the path to success was very tortuous. Their family of four had already suffered a lot, so there was no need to make further waves, right? The air suddenly quieted down. Chao Su usually doesn't speak, but when he speaks today, it makes his family feel a bit overwhelmed. This child. Don't talk nonsense. Wash up, go to bed early. Three people spoke in unison, criticizing Chao Su. Rebellion requires beheading, do you know? Father Chao patted the table with a stern expression, barely revealing the dignity of the head of the family. Brother Wang won't harm us. He has always treated us well and is a good neighbor. Chao Mu also indirectly proved Chao Su's nonsense. Hmm. What does it mean? Can you take the words of old Wang next door seriously? Chao Su felt that in the current situation, it was difficult to communicate with them. They were like being blinded by pyramid schemes, and when they heard that they could have food to eat, they were already indifferent to everything. It's not the fault of Chao's father and mother, after all, this world is too difficult, and a family of four can't eat enough all year round. In recent days, there have been floods and famines in the outer city, and there may be a shortage of food at some point. Chao Su is right. Although Uncle Wang is a good person, he may have been deceived by others. Chao Xing was a reluctant neutral faction, and now he stepped forward to slightly support Chao Su. Upon hearing his eldest son say the same, Chao's father and mother hesitated for a moment. I will investigate carefully tomorrow, and I didn't directly agree with Wang Lin just now. But if there really is such a good thing, I will definitely try it out. Father Chao shook his head, hoping it would be a good thing. A few people chatted a little more before blowing out the lights and sleeping in unison. Chao Su fell asleep in a daze. As I flipped over, I seemed to hear someone flying over the roof. It's not surprising to see it all, after all, this is not just a difficult world. It is also a society where fists are king and military force is paramount. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Iron Fist You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Iron Fist The Next Day Sunny Weather At dawn, Chao Su went out. Hurry in appearance, just like the pedestrians on the street. As he passed by Dashikyo, he suddenly heard someone calling out to him. Chao family kid. Do you know that disaster is approaching? Chao Su's heart skipped a beat and he turned his head to look. I saw a hunched old beggar holding a broken bowl. The old beggar looked extremely ugly, with his eyes rolled out and scars on his face. As he approached, there seemed to be a foul odor. Stare straight at him. Wang's martial arts school. Many warriors have already started exercising. After a few days of work, Chao Su also became familiar with the martial arts school. After knowing that he was an assessment recorder, no one cared about him anymore. To cultivate, one must impart the essence. Without understanding the essence, one can only learn to be superficial. In the martial arts school, the martial artists responsible for teaching the essence of Iron Fist are all in the inner courtyard. Iron Fist is a common martial arts skill in the martial arts world. Those who practice it until they reach a small level will have a fist like iron and a body like steel, making it difficult for a man to approach. Most of the external disciples who practice here are beginners, and there are very few who have achieved success. If one can cultivate to a small level, even if they have mastered the original intention of Iron Fist, they can be accepted as formal disciples by the martial arts school. Like Huze from yesterday, Iron Fist Xiaocheng, today he is no longer in the outer courtyard. A few loud noises suddenly came from the courtyard, attracting everyone's attention. Look, Chen Feng is also about to break through. The breakthrough of a warrior is a major event, 
and for many disciples who have not made a breakthrough, being able to witness a warrior's breakthrough also has many reference significance for oneself. Chao Su also quickly ran over. I saw a tall young man standing there with a flushed face. He emitted hot white air from his body and slowly punched and closed everyone remained silent and observed attentively. Chao Su was also watching from the sidelines, this was the first time he had seen a breakthrough in live streaming. Looking at it, I suddenly noticed a slight abnormality. This is he suddenly widened his eyes. In the white air, a faint light appeared. The bright light floated in the air, as if attracted by something in the end. Surprisingly pounced straight at him. Chao Su had no time to dodge and saw the bright light seeping into his body, disappearing. What kind of thing? Splash damage. He instinctively blinked his eyes and saw the panel automatically pop out. Name. Chao Su Identity. An ordinary and ordinary person in Nanping City item. Iron Fist Essence, usable, is this, explosive equipment. You can explode equipment even without fighting monsters. Chao Su looked shocked. It looks like a melon-eating crowd watching teenagers break through on the edge. At this moment, only a burst of excitement was heard, and the young man who was breaking through struck a punch that penetrated through his chi and blood. A group of disciples from the outer sect who had not yet broken through to Xiaocheng looked around, unaware of the severity. Send congratulations eagerly and eagerly. Congratulations. Brother Fong is indeed a dragon and phoenix among people, with extraordinary talents. After the breakthrough, Chen Feng's face was full of spring breeze, and he also bowed back one by one. He humbly said, it's not really a talent. I've been practicing in the martial arts school for almost half a year, and now I've officially entered the realm of Xiaocheng. Compared to Hu Zhe who entered the inner courtyard yesterday, it's nothing to mention. Hu Zhe is indeed very talented. Chao Su heard that this young man has been in the martial arts school for less than a month, and his martial arts are so advanced that he has been highly valued by the school. He is expected to join the Iron King Fist sect and become an entry dot level disciple. External disciple, formal disciple, and entry dot level disciple. Although the martial arts school is not large, it has a clear hierarchy in a very clear organizational structure, resembling a small gang or force. The majority of external disciples, according to the rules of the martial arts school, pay to learn martial arts for a period of one year. If one cannot first glimpse the path and break through to the realm of Xiaocheng in a year, then one must leave the martial arts school and cannot go further to become an official disciple of the inner sect. Many disciples from outside the sect are very envious of Chen Feng. The small success of Iron Fist cultivation can only be considered as the first step in the realm of martial arts, but this first step has deterred a large number of people. Becoming an official disciple of a martial arts school is a significant event that can change the fate of an ordinary family. For many impoverished commoners, if they can become formal disciples of the martial arts school, they can directly break free from their lower class status on this one acre and three fun land in the outer city. Even ordinary members of the lower levels of the gang would not bother to find formal disciples of the martial arts school. Apart from being unable to defeat Iron Fist warriors who have reached the level of Xiaocheng, being unwilling to provoke the influence of martial arts schools is also an important reason. It can be said that once one cultivates the Iron Fist of Xiaocheng realm within a year in the martial arts school, life will immediately undergo earth-shattering changes. Chao Su looked at Chen Feng, who was surrounded by everyone, and also envied him, but his mind was mostly attracted by the sudden appearance of items on the panel. The essence of Iron Fist. Can it be used? Do you want to use it? There won't be any side effects, will there? Getting something for nothing always makes people feel very uneasy in their hearts anyway, it's better to practice diligently in the future. Chao Su thought silently and then unconsciously hid in the corner. There are some trees planted on the four sides of the outer courtyard of the martial arts school. These trees, which have been planted for an unknown amount of time, are tall and lush. 
The sunlight shines through the leaves and falls mottled on the ground. Chao Su sat under the tree and took a deep breath. Staring at the items on the panel. The essence of iron fist. With a movement of heart and mind. Use. At the next moment, his eyes widened and his consciousness seemed to have been hit by a hammer. A large wave of information forcefully entered his mind. Before I could even distinguish what it was, the chi and blood in my body boiled like boiling, surging and boiling. While the surging chi and blood circulation continued, and the pores on the body emitted hot air, which turned into light white smoke in the air and quickly disappeared. Compared to the recent breakthrough of Chen Feng, Chao Su's movements at this moment are much smaller. The process of brewing tea gradually stabilizes the circulation of qi and blood. Chao Su exhaled a mouthful of turbid air, and his drowsy head regained clarity. Is this lying down to win? He hasn't done anything yet, and by now he has learned Iron Fist. The essence of Iron Fist has been deeply imprinted in consciousness like an instinct that has been practiced for a long time. He felt that he could always strike the iron fist of Xiaocheng realm. But now he. I dare not even try. This is a bit outrageous. I heard from external disciples in the martial arts school that iron fist, which has been cultivated into a minor level in less than a month, is already exceptionally talented. It has already been talked about by people every day, attracting many jealous gazes. What about him? Did the martial artist learn it before teaching it? Self-taught, one day beginner how much scrutiny and trouble would such a talent bring when spoken out? Be low dot key and not ostentatious. Chao Su warned himself in his heart. He only walked out of the corner when his qi and blood circulation became calm and his whole body remained calm as usual. However, upon closer examination of his body, there are still some differences, including his mental state and so on. Fortunately, he is just an inconspicuous temporary worker, and no one cares about him at all. There is a small exam every three days and a big exam every seven days in the martial arts school. When Wei Kai was not around, everyone practiced on their own. Chao Su's daily work not only recorded the progress of martial arts practitioners in the martial arts school, but also required brewing tea, delivering water, cleaning, and doing some miscellaneous tasks. He finished his tasks with his usual expression on his face and didn't even dare to eat too much. Then he left the martial arts school. After completing the iron fist, I gained some confidence in my heart. What Chao Su is currently puzzled about is still how this item exploded. Previously, it was because Chen Feng broke through the realm of Iron Fist Xiaocheng that he dropped the item Iron Fist Essence. So, when someone breaks through, he is expected to go pick up the leak. Is this the only way to explode items? Is there another way he hasn't discovered yet? This opening method still needs to be tested one by one, and the obvious benefit is that it can quickly enhance personal strength through the use of items. Chao Su didn't think much anymore. After reopening the panel, he saw that the item had disappeared and disappeared. Name Chao Su Identity An ordinary beginner warrior in Pingqing martial arts. Iron Fist Martial Arts Realm Not entering the current the panel has been slightly enriched. He was walking on the street, still looking frail and frail. When he passed by the big stone bridge, he saw that the old beggar under the bridge had already left. After a slight pause, he quickened his pace back home. In the small alley outside the courtyard entrance, Chao Su saw several unfamiliar faces that he had never seen before. Some ill-intentioned gazes, unabashedly probing him. Chao Su didn't know these people, and his heart sank slightly. Pang. He forcefully closed the door, blocking his gaze. Is ASU back? Hmm. Chao Su saw that both his parents had returned today. Good morning. A worried expression appeared on the parents' faces, and when they saw Chao Su coming back, they forced out a little smile. The atmosphere is clearly quite oppressive. What's wrong? Chao Su couldn't help but ask. 
although in the eyes of Chao's father and mother, Chao Su was just a child. But for some reason, when Chao Su returned today, both of them breathed a sigh of relief. Upon hearing Chao Su's question, the two of them exchanged a glance. Then Chao's mother said anxiously, something's wrong, ASU. In this world, peace and security is the best outcome, and what ordinary people are most afraid of hearing is the word, accident. Chao Su has heard of, accidents, countless times in recent days. The survival situation is indeed not optimistic. A few people return to the house. Previously, our Baiha gang and Qinghu gang had a fight, which I thought was an ordinary gang struggle. Gang struggles like this are actually very frequent and common. In the outer city, there are armed conflicts of all sizes every day. If there is no curfew from the government army, night fights are not uncommon. The speaker was Chao Xing, with a gloomy expression on his face. This morning, my brother Zhang Tao, whom I met in the Baiha gang, came to tell me that the leader was killed on the spot last night, and the Baiha gang had already been destroyed by the Qinghu gang. Now, the land in Dashikyo, east of the city, has been taken by the Qinghu gang. The rapidly expanding Qinghu gang has recruited many new members, and these fugitives are searching for wealth everywhere. Baiha gang members like me are also being targeted. Chao Xing patted the wooden bed under him in frustration and said, It's all my fault for causing the current trouble. Chao's father scolded, What are you talking nonsense about again? What does it have to do with you? If it weren't for your support in the Baiha gang these past few years, this family wouldn't have been able to hold on until today. So the few unfamiliar faces I saw outside today were all members of the Qinghu gang. Perhaps there was also a grudge against Chao Xing. The survival at the bottom is so intense that it's no wonder there are unreliable sex breeding, all inevitable products of struggle. This is a bit difficult, it would be great if I were an official disciple of the martial arts school now. Chao Su thought silently, but he really didn't dare to expose himself, it was too dangerous. Perhaps if exposed, he may receive attention from the martial arts school, or he may be targeted and killed. That's not as good as the current situation. At least his life is still in his own hands, and perhaps something can be changed. Big Brother, have you ever injured an important figure of the Qinghu gang during a previous fight with humans? Chao Su suddenly spoke up and asked. He kept listening silently, suddenly asking a question that caught all three off guard. Hurting someone must have been done before, but I don't know if it's an important figure of the Qinghu gang. I don't think so, otherwise we wouldn't be able to wait until now. Chao Xing was puzzled by Chao Su's inquiry, and he was afraid of such a situation. Chao's mother worried and said, Master, why don't we move out with Axing ASU? It's really dangerous here. I'm scared when I think back on those unclear looks. Chao's father remained silent for a moment and said, It's probably too late to leave now. You might get stuck as soon as you leave. This made Chao's mother and Chao Xing feel hopeless, and they actually knew that it was too late now. But who knew such a thing would happen? The leader of the Baiha gang was beaten to death, but unexpectedly fell out overnight. At least he is also a big gang in this area, so if he says it's cold, it's cold. Otherwise, why don't we ask Brother Wang for help? Brother Wang has excellent martial arts skills and some fame. As long as he is willing to help, we still have a chance. Chao's words were like a life.saving straw, making people who had already drowned unable to resist wanting to catch them. Only Chao Su felt inappropriate at this moment. This Wang Lin is probably more dangerous than those gang members. In times of chaos, without effort, as long as you enter education, you can have something to eat, which is definitely a problem. He wanted to remind him, but when the words reached his lips, he couldn't come up with a reason. What if there is a problem? This world has made it impossible for people to live anymore. There is a way for people to walk. Do you still care if it's a flood or a beast ahead? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Deterrence You are listening at NovelFull.audio
Chapter 4 Deterrence at Night Chao Su rolled over from the bed and walked outside. ASU, where are you going? Chao's mother didn't sleep, she opened her eyes and looked at him. It's okay, it's convenient to go out. Chao Su also finds it difficult to tell the truth. To be honest, after learning Iron Fist, my chi and blood increased significantly, and my consumption also doubled. I couldn't eat enough before, but now I'm so hungry that I can't even sleep. He walked into the yard and followed the teachings of the martial arts school. Practice boxing. The yard is too small to open and cannot be shouted out loud, and the more you practice, the less smooth it becomes. It wasn't until I closed my fist and exhaled my turbid chi that I felt a little more comfortable. He keenly felt that the strength and speed at this moment were much stronger than before. Especially in terms of punching power, each punch can have additional energy in blood, although weak, it is clearly not within the reach of ordinary people. This is the beginning of martial arts. If it weren't for not having enough to eat, he should be even stronger. And as the martial arts continue to improve, the body bones will also become stronger and stronger. Chao Su had a conversation with Chao Xing before. Ordinary members of the gang are also outsiders who only know how to handle crops and are not skilled in martial arts. Those who enter the sect can become small leaders in the gang. The days of Shao Tu are much more comfortable than ordinary people. Just the filial piety money in the area is enough to provide food and clothing without worries. Those who are watching outside the door are probably just ordinary gang members. Chao Su silently thought to himself, looking at the pitch black night and having an idea in his heart. The next day. At dawn, Chao's father and mother went out. They didn't do odd jobs, but took a turn and knocked on the door of their neighbor next door. The neighbor next door is Wang Lin. Father Chao knocked several times on the door. The knocking on the door became increasingly urgent, but there was never much movement inside. How could it be? Chao's father and mother's faces were somewhat pale, and they walked back to the courtyard in a daze. After thinking about it all night, I came up with a good solution, only to find that it couldn't be used at all. Because Wang Lin is not even here. This old Wang, why isn't he at home at the critical moment? The two couldn't help but complain a few words. Think carefully. I think this could be fate, right it is becoming increasingly despairing. Inside the house. Chao Su helped Chao Xing complete his grooming. Then he made some preparations on the stove. Chao Xing looked at the busy Chao Su and hesitated to speak a few times. What do you want to say? Chao Su adjusted the weight of the kitchen knife. I feel a bit lighter. Then he put down the knife. Chao Xing couldn't help but say, what are you looking for? Chao Su turned his head and smiled, we didn't look for anything. Aren't we going to run away? Let me see what else is worth taking away from home. Are you really going to run away? Didn't parents go to find Uncle Wang? Chao Xing couldn't understand the way. Er, Chao Su listened to Chao Xing's words but did not refute them. I searched around the house but couldn't find any useful props. I'm going out first, you stay at home and be careful. Chao Su was also not polite to Chao Xing. After listening to Chao Su's words, Chao Xing also had nothing to say. He is injured now and cannot afford to hire medical workers or use medicinal materials. I can only lie at home and rest. He can't understand this younger brother anymore and always feels that he's a bit different. But it's hard to say where it's different. Chao Su walked out of the house. He is very familiar with his own one acre and three quarters of land. I didn't go through the front door, but went around the back door. The members of the Green Tiger sect outside the door are like a group of hyenas, with a hint of hostility. Maybe they will come up and bite at some point. There are also people staring at the back door, but there are much fewer people than at the front door. Chao Su pushed open the door and quickly rushed out, flashing past. He didn't know if anyone had seen him, 
so he rushed out of the alley and out of the area of Dashikyo in one breath. I didn't go to the martial arts school today. After circling the street twice, I bought something. Then he sneaked back outside the house. He held his breath and was cautious. There was almost no sound when stepping on the ground. He was too familiar with the terrain here and easily circled to a corner outside. From this angle, he could already hear the voices of those hyenas talking clearly. In fact, several members of the Qinghu gang did not even pay attention to the Chao family. When staring out at the tip, the conversation continued as usual. Chao Su silently calculated. There are three people at the front door and one person at the back door, totaling four people. Tiger brother, when will we start? What's going on? I can't help it anymore. Tiger brother, it's not that I'm in a hurry, it's because the brothers from other halls have all succeeded. I wonder why the Chow family is not considered a big family, why are we only watching here and not taking action? The brothers from the other halls went to the previously chaotic areas. Those residents, who had undergone several changes of ownership, had no wealth and maybe even poorer than us. But the place we came to was in the Pingliang area. The former leader of the Chow family was a member of the Baiha gang, and we don't know how much wealth we had. Eating this family is worth eating ten of them. So what are we waiting for? What's urgent? Haven't you ever heard of a trapped beast still fighting? The more it's like this, the less anxious we can be. If there are any neighbors to support us, what can we do? Keep an eye on them for a few days, scare away the people around us, and then choose a night to rush in. After that, we can still control them. Hee <laughs> hee, I see. Tiger brother is still very experienced. You don't understand. The Chow family leader hurt me before. This time, it's both a tolerance and a personal grudge. Let's talk about it first, and I'll take the life of the Chow family leader and poke a few transparent holes with my own hands. Okay, brother Hu, I'll leave it to the Chow family lady. I heard that the lady has a big chest and a crooked buttocks, so it's just a good time to vent. Hee <laughs> hee. The three people at the front door were chatting as if there was no one around, and occasionally neighbors passed by, turning pale at the words. Everyone lowered their heads and quickly left. No one noticed the fifth person crouching and guarding. Chao Su held back in the corner and waited until it was getting dark. As soon as it got dark, those gang members left one after another. The last gang member to leave is the Tiger Brother. Chao Su silently followed behind him. Tiger Brother is an old gang member. In the Qinghu gang, there are many low dot level members called Tiger Brother. Those who can be called Tigers are at least fugitives who have been involved in human life. Tiger Brother can't remember how many years he has been working in the gang. From the south to the west of the city, and now to the east of the city. He can be considered to have a thorough understanding of Pingcheng. The most important thing when working at the bottom is to have good eyesight. People without eyes have long been like throwing corpses on the street, and they have died countless times. This time, the Qinghu gang suddenly erupted, the Baiha gang was annexed, and the Qinghu gang's chassis suddenly doubled. This area of the original Baiha gang was immediately raided. In just two days, it caused a lot of trouble, causing people to complain. Tiger Brother certainly knows the benefits of fishing in troubled waters at this moment, but he still likes to wait. It is more appropriate to start again when the prey struggle is gone. He has observed carefully these past two days, and the Chow family of four is really nothing special. They are all ordinary and ordinary people. Tiger Brother's eyes flashed with a hint of sharpness. Just wait until tomorrow night. The idea had just arisen when a gust of evil wind suddenly came from behind. He didn't have time to react, bang. With a loud bang, the whole person shook and then collapsed on the roadside. Wrap a broken burlap around a person's head. After several loud bangs of being smashed, a lot of blood seeped out faintly. Chao Su saw that there was no more movement and dragged him into the dark alley. 
After removing the burlap bag, it was discovered that the tiger brother had been beaten to pieces by him. Lying on the ground, half dead. He found a bag on tiger brother's body. After weighing it, it should be some money. When Iron Fist broke through to the level of Xiao Cheng, his qi and blood power greatly increased. Even if he didn't use Iron Fist, his physical fitness was much stronger than that of ordinary people. Not to mention hitting the stick behind the back, if you come face to face, it's just a matter of punching. However, Chao Su still chose this more secure method. He didn't look much at Tiger Brother lying on the ground, quickly turned around and walked towards the deeper alley. Tiger Brother, who was seriously injured, may still be able to save his life, maybe not anymore. But it's no longer important. In this world, there are too many people lying inexplicably on the roadside every day. Chao Su, who had left far away, was breathing heavily in the air, as if he could still smell the faint smell of blood. He quickly adjusted and seemed to be more adapted to this world than he had imagined. Perhaps I have already become numb. He kept returning to the door and just as he was about to knock, he stopped. I carefully checked my clothes and confirmed that there were no bloodstains. Dong dong dong. The gate of the courtyard was knocked on, and soon a frantic sound came from inside. Has ASU returned? It's me. Chao Su responded. The courtyard door opened, revealing the worried faces of Chao's father and mother. Chao Su's heart warmed. ASU, where did you go today? Why haven't you come back all day? Do you know how worried we are about you? You should have come back earlier. As Chao Su walked into the courtyard, his father quickly locked the door again. Inside, Chao Xing, who had already sat up, saw Chao Su walking in. Chao Su sat at the table as if nothing had happened. I went to the Wang Martial Arts School today. Wang's Martial Arts School. Chao's father and mother were greatly surprised. They have never heard Erlang talk about his affairs. They used to think that their son was doing some miscellaneous chores outside, so why did he go to the Wang Martial Arts School? Wang's Martial Arts School, but which is the largest martial arts school in the east of the city. Chao's father has some knowledge, and the reputation of the Wang Martial Arts School is like thunder piercing his ears. The Wang Martial Arts School is not only the largest martial arts school in the east of Pingqing City, but also a significant force, ranking below the five gangs and three factions in Pingqing. Did ASU actually connect with the martial arts school online? Yes, I am currently working for the Wang Family Martial Arts School. Chao Su directly admitted his identity. This statement made the two elders ecstatic. Originally, these past two days, I have been in a state of fear and anxiety. Unexpectedly, now with the twists and turns of the road, ASU is actually working in the martial arts school. A natural idea appeared in the hearts of the two of them. If the identity of the Erlang Martial Arts School was exposed, would the members of the Qinghu gang outside the yard leave? After all, compared to the Wang Martial Arts School, the Qinghu gang is too weak, like a weak cat. ASU, you. Chao's father and mother originally wanted to educate Chao Su so that he could come back early in the future. But now, where can we still speak? In their eyes, although Erlang still looked thin and weak, his image suddenly became taller. Is the martial arts school clerk so effective? Seeing everyone stunned, Chao Su secretly licked his tongue. On second thought, it's not right either. I am not considered a clerk myself. The clerk should be a formal disciple of the inner sect, the dispatched worker should be an outer sect disciple, and he is just a temporary worker. The martial arts school does not need to pay five insurances and one fund. Pulling tiger skin is okay. If something really happens, I won't stand up for myself. At first glance, Chao's father and mother didn't understand the ways involved, thinking that relying on the reputation of the martial arts school could scare people away. At this critical moment, we still have to rely on an iron fist. Correctly printed that old saying, Boxing requires a hard iron, end of this chapter.
Chapter 5 Blood Stains You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Blood Stains Early Morning The cold wind is piercing, surrounded by thin mist. A few dog barks came from the corner of the neighborhood, disrupting the tranquility. The vendor carrying a basket immediately discovered a man lying on the ground, as if dead. It seems to be from the Qinghu gang. Are you dead? One more breath, who did it? It's tough enough, it's better to die if it's damaged. The masses dare not crowd around and take a glance from a distance. There is a lot of discussion. An informant reported it to the members of the Qinghu gang. The Qinghu gang, which defeated the Baiha gang and wielded the power of the victor, is now the first gang in the Dashikyo area. The gang members are as arrogant as the sun. The territory and industry of the gang are also constantly expanding, and it is said that they even took over Wancher Gambling House in the east of the city yesterday. At this point, no one should dare to provoke the Qinghu gang. The other gangs in the east of the city have all chosen to temporarily avoid the sharpness. As a result, a gang member was suddenly disabled. Isn't this a provocation against the Qinghu gang? Soon. The Qinghu gang, who received the message, rushed onto this street. Small businesses and vendors were driven away, and onlookers were also dispersed. They blockaded the entire street like government soldiers. A middle-aged man wearing a black tiger print robe arrived at the street corner. He has a strong physique, indicating that he has practiced martial arts. The tiger brother, lying on the ground is still in a serious injury coma. There are several scattered baskets, a torn sack with bloodstains, and a black stick that can be seen everywhere, with some bloodstains visible at the top of the stick. It can be said that the killer is extremely arrogant. Not only did he hit someone, but he also left the murder weapon at the scene, fearing that others would not find physical evidence. From the on-dot site situation, it is not difficult to guess last night's event. Tiger Brother was ambushed by someone. First, he hit his head hard to make him dizzy, then blinded him with a burlap bag, and finally dragged him into the alley to carry out a beating. The killer's methods were cruel, causing serious injuries but not fatal, leaving Tiger Brother in a disabled state for the rest of his life. In this world, sometimes disability is more terrifying than death. Master Chen, Tiger Brother has blossomed behind his head and has 13 fractures on his body. The person was injured and the money bag was gone, clearly a habitual offender. A capable young leader of the Green Tiger Gang spoke with concern to the strong man in the Black Tiger Seal robe. The strong man had a gloomy face and remained noncommittal. He squatted down and carefully glanced at Tiger Brother. The overall strength of the injury is not significant but the impact on the back of the head is full of force, somewhat like a warrior whose chi and blood have broken through. Master Chen is not very certain. If it is a martial artist who has broken through chi and blood, does it still need to ambush an ordinary person who has only practiced the crop control technique? Facing each other head dot on, Tiger Brother will definitely not be able to withstand a punch. If it's an ordinary person whose chi and blood have not broken through, then there are too many suspects to investigate. How long has Lu Hu been in the gang? Master Chen stood up and asked. Xiao Tumu arched his hand and said, Lu Hu has been in the gang for three years. He had already joined the gang when our Qinghu gang was just established. How many years have you been in my broken mountain hall? I think he joined our Pashan Tang in June this year. At that time, it was personally introduced by Li Liang, the head of Lin Feng Tang, and I was quite impressed. Li Liang Master Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. The Qinghu gang has three halls, Lin Feng, Pashan, and Zhu Shui. The leaders of the three halls are all experts in the realm of power. Under the hall leaders, there are many leaders. Anyone who can break through qi and blood can become the leader of the Qinghu gang. This is not only true of the Qinghu gang, but also of other gangs. It can be said that qi and blood warriors are the backbone of the Qinghu gang. But martial artists need to cultivate, and most of the time, 
the responsibilities of the leader are still taken over by the experienced, Tiger Brother. Every, Tiger Brother, is a seasoned veteran in the martial arts world. Although they don't have much martial arts skills, their abilities surpass those of ordinary gang members and their importance is second only to the leader. It's not surprising that ordinary gang members have died. But if, Tiger Brother, dies, the deputy gang leader may also intervene. According to reason, we should take the problem seriously and strive to find the culprit. It's embarrassing that this, Tiger Brother, hasn't died yet according to the rules of the Qinghu gang, this is not dead, and the deputy leader will not interfere with the affairs in the hall. So Lord Chen doesn't actually have much pressure on him. The reason why I came to block the street with great fanfare today is to show it to my subordinates. At least give subordinates a feeling of having already worked hard. Not long after, three members of the Qinghu gang who were working with Tiger Brother yesterday ran over, along with medical workers from the Qinghu gang, preparing to rescue Tiger Brother. Master Chen As soon as the three of them came over, they immediately fell to their knees with a thud. Master Chen said coldly, please explain the events of these past few days in their original form, and do not miss any details. The three of them turned pale and are still confused. Yesterday was still fine, why did Tiger Brother end up like this after a whole night? Upon hearing the master's question, you told me everything about the past two days one by one. In fact, there are not many places worth referring to. Chen Tang mainly sought out the enemies that Tiger Brother may have offended in the past few days, and deduced the culprit based on his motives. But Tiger Brother has been very calm these days. Compared to other gang members who have caused public resentment, Tiger Brother's group is simply a moral model. The only family that is ready to take action has not even had a chance to do so. Since there was no action, then there was no resentment. No grudges, being beaten up like this, shouldn't it be hitting the wrong person? Master Chen asked his heart, has he been indulging the gang members too much lately? Causing nearby residents to retaliate. According to inference, this possibility is the highest. Thinking of this, he didn't want to delve further. Wave your hand and order the members of the Qinghu gang to restrain themselves. By the way, you said you were following a member of the Baiha gang. Before leaving, Master Chen suddenly remembered something. Then he said, take them to the hall and I'll take a look. The three gang members quickly lowered their heads and took orders. When the members of the Qinghu gang come to their doorstep, Chao Su was almost about to take action. But I still endured it. Go to the Qinghu gang's broken mountain hall. Chao Sui said sternly, this big brother, it's not that I don't want to go, I really have something to attend to. Don't be shameless, just go if you want to. The gang members flew into a rage, feeling as if they had been provoked and about to come up and beat someone up. Chao Su didn't take a step back, clenched his fists, and glared fiercely at the gang members. Chao's father stopped the gang members and spoke leniently, Big brother, calm down. Big brother, calm down. It's not intentional, my second son is indeed busy. Where did the gang members listen to this? The task he has received now is to send the Chao Su family to the Pashan Tang. As for whether to stand or lie down and go, the master has not asked. Now being stopped, I'm furious. Immediately reaching out and shoving, Chao's father was weak and pushed several steps away, almost falling to the ground. I don't care what you're up to, come with me now, or I'll kill you all and drag you over. Desperate individuals are always filled with class oppression from a superior position towards the lower class people. They are afraid of their superiors to death, and when dealing with Chao's father and others, they always feel that they should be left to their own devices. Chao Su lifted Chao's father with a stern gaze. Brother, I'll come with you. Erlang is going to work at the Wang Family Martial Arts School, so I really can't go with you. Chao's father pounded his feet and chest, explaining dejectedly. The short blades in the hands of the members of the Qinghu gang have been drawn out, ready to show the color to Chao Su's family. Upon hearing the four words, Wang's Martial Arts School, I suddenly froze down. 
Wang's Martial Arts School Are you a disciple of the Wang Martial Arts School? The Wang Martial Arts School requires a first payment of 10 tails of silver to recruit disciples. For wealthy families, it is naturally simple, but for poor families, it is a huge expenditure. The first reaction of the members of the Qinghu gang was that this family is really willing to spend money. And the second reaction is, shouldn't all the money be thrown into it? Shit. I am not a disciple of the Wang Martial Arts School, I am the person who works for them. I am a special recorder of the Wang Martial Arts School and a formal employee. Chao Su snorted coldly, and his thin and weak body stepped forward. Special Recorder The members of the Qinghu gang have obviously never heard of such advanced terms. However, the title of Wang's martial arts school is enough to scare people, and they dare not create it again. But they still have doubts, isn't this kid just pulling tiger skin? So Chao Su led them out and all the way to the front of the martial arts school. Then, amidst the complex gazes of everyone, he was welcomed into the martial arts school. As soon as the door opens and closes, there are two worlds. It's actually true the members of the Qinghu gang were speechless, so they had to bring the remaining three people to the hall first. Then Lord Chen took a look. This family, one disabled lying in bed, one obedient ordinary person, one is a woman, and the ones who haven't come are heard to be children. There is no possibility of a successful surprise attack. It seems that I overthought it, so I let Chao Su and his family go back. A tiger brother died. Because just defeating the Baiha gang feels like pouring cold water. The Qinghu gang caused a small sensation by breaking the mountain hall, and they even conducted a serious investigation at the beginning. But within two days, everyone returned to the wave of scraping off people's fat. Turning my head, I completely forgot about this matter. Only when I happened to pass by that street corner, I seemed to still see some blood clotting in the wind, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Stability You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Stability The Chow family has become famous. Neighbors have all heard that the Chow family has given birth to an Erlang, who has become a staff member of the martial arts school. Have you heard that Erlang is 8 feet long, with a tiger body and ape arms, and is a first-class martial arts practitioner? No, how did I hear that Erlang was intelligent from a young age and could read and write, which was why he was favored by the martial arts school? The news you've heard is not very interesting. I've heard that Erlang is not the biological child of the Chow family. What's the point? We can't even raise our own children, why are we raising other children? Really, look at old Chow's submissive appearance, how could he give birth to such a promising son? Everyone is discussing it one after another. After all, it's just casual chatting after meals, with no practical significance. The most amazing thing is that the Qinghu gang is no longer staring at the Chow family. The retreat of the members of the Qinghu gang has confirmed the extraordinary situation of the Chow family today. So, the Chow family lived a few days of peace and stability. Chow family. In the courtyard. Chow Su opened the money bag. This is Tiger Brother's money bag. After he ambushed Tiger Brother, he casually took it back. In the money bag, there is some broken silver. It looks like twenty tails. It can be considered a windfall. Sure enough, it's better to buy and sell without any capital and get money quickly. After the breakthrough of qi and blood, the physical fitness of the warrior has greatly improved. In the past two days, Chao Su had clearly felt that he was starving faster. Nutrition can't keep up, it's all about hypoglycemia, according to the martial artists in the martial arts school, in order for them to cultivate, they need to cooperate with the qi and blood pill. Assisting cultivation with elixirs is a major characteristic of the times. In this world, cultivators who know how to refine pills are all wealthy, and qi and blood pills are products of various Taoist palaces, with excellent effects and widespread popularity, favored by martial artists. Chao Su thought for a moment and put away his wealth. Wealth is not exposed. 
we need to find a way to secretly use this money. To avoid revealing one's horse's feet. As for the plan to improve the living conditions of the family, we can only postpone it for now. Big brother, I'm out. Chao Su shouted out. Then, as usual, he went to the martial arts school first. When I reached Ishikyo, I saw the ugly old beggar again. The ugly beggar is well informed, and Chao Su often asks him for information. Going back and forth, I became familiar with it. Chao family kid, you're really lucky. The old beggar exclaimed in amazement. With the convergence of the Qinghu gang in the past two days, the Dashikyo area has returned to its previous appearance. Although still so impoverished and impoverished. But there is less chaos. A rare calmness. Cho Wang, thank you for reminding me. Chao Su solemnly bowed his hand and thanked him. The ugly beggar is like a mud bug on the flat ground, no wind or grass can hide it from him. That day, the leader of the Baiha gang was killed, and the ugly beggar was also one of the first people to know the news. He knew that the Chao family leader was a member of the Baiha gang. Then he came over to report to Chao Su, reminding him to act with caution. In fact, Chao Su was indeed careful in his actions. Tiger brother was beaten and disabled, but he still seemed to have nothing to do and was at large. It's okay, don't be polite to me. The ugly beggar waved his hand and laughed more than he cried, saying, but be careful. Tiger brother, who was beaten and disabled, has many friends in the gang. If we don't find the culprit for a while, they may still cause trouble for you. After all, Tiger brother only encountered the poisonous hand after leaving your neighborhood. The ugly beggar was well informed, and his words immediately raised a strong sense of vigilance in Chao Su. He nodded and said, Okay, I will be careful. I also have to be careful. Currently, his strength is only slightly stronger than Tiger Brother. Tiger's yesterday could be his today. The two chatted a few more words. Then Chao Su left. I didn't go to the martial arts school, but turned around and went to another street. Dan Fong. This is already an area slightly south of the city. Stay away from the influence of the Qinghu gang. The shopkeeper of Dan Fong is a middle-aged man. Dressed cleanly with a smile on his face. Seeing that Chao Su was young and dressed plainly, he did not show any contempt. Shopkeeper, by medicine. Chao Su walked in and glanced inside the room. The room is not big, it seems there is only a middle-aged shopkeeper. Chao Su wouldn't think that way. Dan Fong is not a good place, and even when the gang arrives here, they dare not be arrogant. He only noticed the shopkeeper, but it wasn't really just one person. In this bizarre world, seeing may not necessarily be true. Young Xia, what medicine do you need? The shopkeeper asked with a smile. Shopkeeper, how do you sell qi and blood pills? There are two types of people who come to Dan Fong, one is to use pills to treat illnesses and save people, and the other is to use pills to cultivate. Both types of pills are essential and relatively expensive. The qi and blood pill, a pill cultivated by ordinary martial artists, is the most common and best dot-selling pill in the alchemy workshop. The qi and blood pill is divided into three levels. Upper, middle, and lower. The upper level requires a thousand liang, the middle level requires a hundred liang, and the lower level requires ten liang. Chao Su nodded after listening and asked seriously, Could you please tell me the difference, shopkeeper? Oh. The shopkeeper originally saw Chao Su's extremely ordinary appearance and thought he would at most buy an inferior qi and blood pill. However, he didn't expect Chao Su to even ask him to introduce the product. Surprisingly interested in mid to high quality products. Isn't it just a simple wealthy person, as far as I can tell? The shopkeeper immediately became enthusiastic and said with a smile, You may not know, but there is a huge difference between them. The lower grade qi and blood pill is usually refined by the disciples of the state's Dao Palace. 
The main medicine is usually the chi and blood of the ninth grade ferocious beasts. It takes three days to form a furnace and five days to produce the pill. It is best taken when a warrior's chi and blood have not reached the strength level and have broken through. Middle grade and top dot grade chi and blood pills, with the main medicines being 8th grade and 7th grade ferocious beasts, respectively. Due to their fierce chi and blood, those who are not in the realm of strength and martial arts cannot directly take them. Although it cannot be taken directly, the top dot grade chi and blood pill is still the most enchanting practice medicine for martial artists. Many martial artists have their own unique secret formulas that can unlock the powerful medicinal properties of the top dot grade chi and blood pill, allowing even those who have not reached their power level to use it normally. The shopkeeper's explanation gave Chao Su some understanding. When he was in the martial arts school before, Hu Zhei, who was extremely talented, broke through the iron fist in January and was rewarded with two bottles of qi and blood pills by Wei Shi in the martial arts school. Usually, this type of qi and blood pill comes in bottles. Two bottles are two qi and blood pills. At least twenty tails of silver. Chao Su calculated in his heart that if he had spent ten tails of silver registering for the martial arts school, he would have earned at least ten tails of blood. The shopkeeper looked at Chao Su and said with a smile, How about you, young hero, cultivate some pills? Anyway. Chao Su nodded. Shopkeeper, give me a inferior chi and blood pill. Shopkeepers. 1. A wave of enthusiasm was instantly extinguished. Good professional ethics keep him smiling. But the act of hastily taking out the chi and blood pill from the counter still betrayed the unease in my heart. Chao Su took out the broken silver and handed it to the shopkeeper with great pain. The shopkeeper weighed it. Point together ten liang. Chao Su hid the remaining silver and chi and blood pills in his arms. Tightened the collar. Then he turned around and left Dan Fong. Outside Dan Fong, the street is very clean. No gang members dare to wander around the Dan Fong area. This is the business of Dao Gong. If Dao Gong wants to crush them, it's no different from pinching an ant. Chao Su ran all the way back to the martial arts school. Like a carefree person, I did another day's work. But my hands are not very controlled. Always touch your chest from time to time. In the evening, Chao Su left the martial arts school. He returned home. At home, parents have not returned. Chao Xing is sleeping inside the house. After closing the courtyard door, Chao Su eagerly took out the qi and blood pill. He pulled out the cork of the bottle and smelled the fragrance. The qi and blood pill is about the size of a longan, white with a hint of red, transparent and fragrant. He always thought that the qi and blood pill must be full of blood and energy. I didn't expect it to be so fragrant. That's right, even though its name is Qi and Blood Dan. But after all, it is a pill refined by Taoism. When producing Taoist pills, it has a perfect combination of color, aroma, and taste. He held it in his hand and examined it for a moment. After all, it was a pill that cost him ten tails of money. Just watch for a while longer and your heart won't hurt anymore. I've seen enough, it's not very interesting. Monopoly industries are the least shameful. Chao Su muttered a few words and then looked up. I took the pill. After the qi and blood pill enters the body, a surge of qi and blood emerges from the body. He has been starving for the past few days. Qi and blood are also insufficient. Now with this supplement, the body is like a sponge, eagerly absorbing the medicinal power. My body seems to be on fire, getting hotter and hotter. He stood up and couldn't help but punch a set of iron fists. Iron fist is the most basic form of physical training. Chao Su's iron fist has reached the level of small success. With a wave, the wind blew brightly. He could clearly feel that his physique was becoming stronger and stronger. The last few punches of the iron fist unleashed their vitality and strength. 
Even those who don't understand martial arts know that its power is not small. The chi and blood in the body gradually subsided. But the body is still warm, surrounded by white air. The strength has increased my current physical condition is much better than a few days ago. Although the overall appearance is still thin and weak, the complexion is glossy and contains a power that cannot be underestimated within the body. If we encounter that tiger brother again, we shouldn't have to launch a surprise attack. Chao Su thought to himself. It's not right either. This world is too dangerous, and it is uncertain whether they are also hidden warriors. When it's time to launch a surprise attack, you still have to launch one. After all, I'm too weak at this moment, the courtyard door opened. Chao's father and mother have returned. The two of them were stunned when they saw Chao Su standing in the courtyard. De Lang. De Lang. What kind of man? Chao Su followed their gaze and looked back, only to see Chao Xing standing at the door, leaning on a crutch. Chao Xing stood there with a dull expression on his face. Chao Su's gaze changed. I let out a sigh in my heart. Did you see it? Still careless. I should have just entered the house and knocked Chao Xing unconscious. It's not easy to handle now, mainly because there's no explanation. It's not right either. Chao Xing has never practiced martial arts, theoretically he is a vegetable chicken. I shouldn't know how strong he is. Chao Su comforted himself for a moment. Dalong, you can stand up now. Chao's father and mother were overjoyed and threw away all the baskets in their hands. He ran over and helped Chao Xing. The doctor said you need to lie down for at least three months, and after only one month, have you stood up? Chao's mother wept with joy. Not only did he feel happy for his son, but more importantly, the pillars of the family stood up. Chao Xing is already twenty years old, although he has not been married, he is already in charge of the family. When Chao Xing was in the Baiha gang, although his family was struggling, they were safe and sound, and their days were very peaceful. As soon as Chao Xing fell, the whole family remained in a tense state. Crisis seems to be everywhere. Chao Xing kept looking at Chao Su with a strange gaze as he approached and remained silent. There was still some sweat on Chao Su's forehead after practicing martial arts. Tonight, we should celebrate well. Chao's father laughed heartily, De Lang's physique is really good. In this world, having a good physique means stability. Early recovery is better than anything else. Chao Xing nodded and smiled. That's right, we really should celebrate. Double happiness comes upon the door, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Ideas You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Ideas 10 Days Later Dan Fong Chao Su couldn't help but come to buy medicine again. The efficacy of the qi and blood pill has been completely absorbed, with no residue left. He suffered a huge deficit before and suddenly broke through the martial arts realm, demanding high levels of nutrition. This little qi and blood pill is not enough to absorb. According to reason, the interval between taking qi and blood pills should be at least one month. However, Chao Su finished smoking in three days. I hesitated for seven days. Finally, I couldn't help but come out to buy medicine. He changed his home to Dan Fong in the north of the city. As a result, this Dan Fong is conducting promotional activities. Lower grade qi and blood pill. One is only eight liang. Nima Chao Su's mouth twitched slightly. Is it necessary to roll up the industry that belongs to the Dao Palace? Fortunately, we changed to another one. The qi and blood pill assisted cultivation has indeed made significant progress. From the appearance. Chao Su's height has slightly increased now, and the muscles on his arms are also faintly visible. From the perspective of martial arts, he has completely stood firm in the realm of Iron Fist Xiaocheng. As seen by Chao Su every day outside the martial arts school. This group of external disciples who have not yet broken through to Xiaocheng. He can even beat seven. 
I feel very good about myself. Since that day, no one has broken through to the level of Xiaocheng. The action of waiting for others to break through and pick up the leak, which led to Chao Su's speculation, has never been possible. Chao Su is now in the martial arts school every day, looking at the eyes of his disciples from outside, all of whom are filled with hatred and lack of strength. Why doesn't this one break through, and why doesn't that one break through? He wished he could teach in person. But for those who practice normally, which one is not one who trains in the winter and summer? If it were so easy to break through, the martial arts school wouldn't have treated the inner disciples so well. This is too passive. There must be other ways to explode equipment. He made bold guesses. After leaving the Danfang in the north of the city, Chao Su returned home. Take the pill to cultivate. In front of Chao Xing. Chao Xing sat under the eaves, his dark eyes staring at Chao Su, whose iron fists had already become small. Although silent, it seems like there is a lot to say. After a long time, the white air dissipated. Chao Su's body calmed down with qi and blood. The effect of taking pills for cultivation is extremely obvious. The strength has significantly increased. Take down a set of punches. Smooth and comfortable throughout the body. Big brother, do you know this boxing technique? After Chao Xing discovered that he was practicing martial arts, Chao Su did not hide it. He also figured it out, and currently there is no other place for him to practice. But practicing in the yard will eventually be discovered by Chao Xing. These days, just practicing martial arts is not a big deal. Sure enough, Chao Xing knew that Chao Su was practicing martial arts and was even very happy. Chao Xing smiled and said, Iron Fist, do you really think I don't even know this? That's right, it's an iron fist. Chao Su casually swung a punch with great force and a heavy momentum. He paused for a moment and said, Big brother, I'm pretty good at practicing iron fist. When you're healed, how about I teach you iron fist? Upon hearing Chao Su's words, Chao Xing's heart warmed. He shook his head and said, Iron Fist is taught by the martial arts school. Those who are not martial arts students of the martial arts school are not allowed to teach it privately. Otherwise, it will not be a small matter for the martial arts school to investigate. That doesn't matter. Iron Fist is widely circulated outside, and the strength of martial arts schools lies in their powerful martial arts masters imparting the essence of Iron Fist, who have been immersed in Iron Fist for decades. Chao Su didn't take it seriously. Teaching the essence of Iron Fist was the foundation for the establishment of the Wang Martial Arts School. It would be too easy for someone to find industry loopholes in such a simple way. His original intention was very simple, it was to teach De Lang some martial arts skills. After De Lang recovers in the future, he will continue to guard this family. If he were alone, after all, he would be weak. If there could be a helper, it would definitely be better. Chao Xing fell silent for a moment and said, It's not necessary anymore. You just need to practice on your own. Hmm. Why? Chao Su was somewhat puzzled. Chao Xingdao said, The spring recruitment is approaching. After my injuries are healed, I am ready to join the government army. Fu Jun. This answer surprised Chao Su a bit. The Fujian is a standard army in Pingcheng. Obey the orders of the city lord, defend the enemy in the wilderness, and safeguard the safety of Pingcheng. But the government army. Not a desirable career. Because the casualty rate of the government army is too high. They either kill ferocious beasts or exterminate bandits, using military force almost every year. There are rumors that the annual rate of serious injuries or fatalities among the lower-level military is as high as 30%. So pinching recruits twice a year. Spring moves and autumn moves. In addition to the deserved military pay and generous treatment, the transformation of identity is also a major advantage for the soldiers of the government army, and there is even a chance to benefit the family. Of course, even so, Besides really not being able to survive, 
who would be willing to tie their heads to their waistbands. So every year, the Lord's Mansion also conducts forced conscription. Do you want to join the government army? Chao Su couldn't believe it. Chao Xing nodded and said, At the age of twenty, according to the law, I should have served in the military. Although the government army is poor, it is also another way out for us ordinary children. Chao Xing sighed and said, ASU, seeing you diligently practicing martial arts, I feel very embarrassed for my brother. I feel that these years of time have really been wasted. That's why I made up my mind to live towards death. Chao Su's face changed. If the grassroots army really had a rumored casualty rate of up to 30%, it would indeed be living towards death. If one cannot quickly stand out in the government army. In the future, it is inevitable to die on the battlefield. Chao Su snorted coldly and said, I can't persuade you. You're not even married yet. When your parents come back, you can tell them. Also, if you really join the army, with your current martial arts skills, you may not even be able to defeat me. Don't underestimate this iron fist, even the powerful ones in the army won't come to teach you every day. He is not polite at all when speaking, and can even be said to be very straightforward. Chao Xing was scolded and had nothing to say because every word spoken by Chao Su was true. But ASU is also too arrogant. I didn't pay any attention to him as a big brother at all not long after, there were sounds outside the yard. Chao's father and mother have returned. I haven't had a chance to be happy yet. I heard the first bad news. Dalong wants to join the government army this is a bolt from the blue, how could this idea suddenly come to mind? Then came a round of desperate persuasion. Chao Xing also expressed his own ideas. Chao's father remained silent. Until late at night. Chao Su saw his father sitting outside the house. Like a stone carving. After a long time. I heard a long sigh the next day. Wang's Martial Arts School. Today is the March Martial Arts School exam. The Martial Arts School entrance examination will involve both internal and external disciples. It is divided into martial arts realm assessment and practical combat ability assessment. The martial arts school is also a force, but it is different from other gang forces. In order to develop, gang forces will seize the chassis and try their best to seize various industries such as gambling houses, youth clubs, and restaurants. But the martial arts school itself has both revenue generating functions. The martial artists in the martial arts school not only teach their disciples in the martial arts school. Some wealthy people choose door dot to dot door service. The on dot site teaching of martial artists is also a significant source of income. In addition, the inner disciples of the martial arts school will receive tasks such as guarding and escorting according to the rules of the martial arts school, and can also bring income to the martial arts school. It can be said that external disciples pay tuition fees. But as long as you practice, you don't need to work for the martial arts school. And inner disciples, although they don't have to pay tuition fees and can even enjoy some good treatment from martial arts schools, must also complete some tasks accordingly. So since the martial arts school is a force, there is a pursuit for the development of power. Develop more inner disciples and promote the overall strength of the martial arts school to rise. The march exam is a means for martial arts schools to motivate their disciples to progress. The outstanding candidates in the assessment will receive rewards from the martial arts school. The reward this time is average. The first place winner can receive a medium quality chi and blood pill. The top 20 have rewards, but for external disciples, it's too difficult to make it to the top 20, after all, their chi and blood haven't broken through yet. That's not the case either. The actual assessment is based on drawing lots to match each other. Some of the 26 disciples from the inner sect who participated in this round may have met each other in the first few rounds, giving the outer sect disciples a chance to take turns and make it to the top 20. Numerous disciples were discussing, and Chao Su heard of the medium-grade qi and blood pill. A heart movement. Value is 100 tails. 
the martial arts school is really willing to spend money. That's right, only under heavy rewards can we motivate progress. Under such a big exam, both inner and outer disciples feel a lot of pressure. After all, all the martial artists in the martial arts school are staring at the venue. Some disciples often complete breakthroughs under such pressure. Chao Su There was a tall boy shouting Chao Su's name. Chao Su quickly ran over. It's Chen Feng who has already joined the inner door. Speaking of which, the equipment that Chao Su first found was from Chen Feng. Eating people has a short mouth, but holding people with soft hands. Even if others don't know yet. And it will never be known. Chao Su wore a slight smile on his face and said, Brother Chen. Hurry up, Teacher Wei is calling you. The high platform of the venue. Wei Kai sat there. In the middle of the main seat is a burly man with a big beard and a black face. Iron King Fist. Wang Meng. The founder of the Wang Martial Arts School. Wang Meng is talking to Wei Kai about something. Suddenly, his gaze turned straight towards Chao Su. That gaze was like a knife, and Chao Su's eyes hurt. Quietly surprised, quickly don't look away. Is this Iron King Fist? After reaching the high platform, Chao Su felt even more the wild pressure. With such a strong aura, it felt like sitting there was not just a person, but a fierce beast that could pounce at any time. What kind of martial arts realm should this be? Compared to Wang Meng, the deputy curator Wei Kai is significantly more introverted. Chao Su quickly stood behind Wei Kai. Wang Meng kept staring at Chao Su, making him feel uneasy. He gritted his head and arched his hand, taking the initiative to say, I've seen the museum owner, deputy museum owner. Wei Kai frowned and said, Chao Su, the big exam is about to start. Don't run around, it's still up to you to record today. Chao Su's echo should be. A heart let go. Take out the paper and pen from his arms, ready to start the day's work. At the next moment, Wang Meng's voice suddenly sounded. He said strangely, this disciple doesn't need to compete in the next round, is it only recorded here? Before Chao Su could explain, Wei Kai answered first. Brother, this is not a disciple. This is a new attendant recruited by the martial arts school last month, who can read and write. After old Huang leaves, he will be responsible for recording. Oh. Wang Meng's eyes sparkled as he heard the words. He suddenly stood up and stared straight at Chao Su. In just half a month's time, can one still cultivate a surge of qi and blood? As soon as Wei Kai said this, he suddenly turned his head. His eyes were filled with suspicion and uncertainty. Chao Su was greatly surprised and was suppressed by the fierce momentum of these two people. There seems to be a thousand pounds of pressure on my body. I almost fell to the ground. The back is cold and sweaty. My heart is in turmoil. Chapter 7 of the Night, Seeking a Wave of Collections and Tickets, End of this Chapter Chapter 8 Picking Up Leaks you are listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 8 Picking Up Leaks Inside the Martial Arts School The first batch of external disciples are ready. The numerous martial artists in the martial arts school came to the scene and assessed their disciples on their martial arts level. The entire martial arts school has a total of 53 external disciples and 26 internal disciples. The next seven martial artists will assess their disciples. The number of external disciples is about twice that of internal disciples, but in fact, many of the external disciples are disciples who have not completed a year of cultivation. Once a year has passed, the outer disciples will leave the martial arts school. The inner disciples are formal disciples, and if they are willing, they can stay in the martial arts school for a long time. After so many years of accumulation, there are only 26 inner disciples. It is evident that becoming an inner disciple is not easy. As the martial artist entered the arena, the inner and outer disciples underwent assessments one after another. The inner disciples are also iron fists for cultivation. 
Some have been immersed in Iron Fist for several years, and Iron Fist has reached its ultimate level, with a second breakthrough in Chi and Blood. One move in one go, with a powerful fist. It is definitely not something that external disciples can defeat. Many external disciples are also considered a special training session. Surrounding the venue, watching with concentration. At this point. On a high platform. Chao Su sweated coldly in Tianjin. For a moment, I didn't know how to answer. Are you a beginner in martial arts and have you learned other martial arts? Wei Kai's first reaction was to overlook the fact that Chao Su's identity may not be simple. But he immediately overturned his own thoughts. Chao Su's identity, which he has carefully studied, can be said to be the simplest among many job applicants. Otherwise, he wouldn't have liked Chao Su either. Iron King Fist looked at Chao Su with a smile on his face. He could feel the surge of qi and blood in Chao Su, speculating that Chao Su might be on the verge of breaking through. But he looked around. In fact, Chao Su's surge of qi and blood was entirely due to taking the qi and blood pill only yesterday. The speed at which he absorbs the medicinal effects of the qi and blood pill is too fast, causing some instability in his body's qi and blood. Chao Su couldn't think of any reason at first. Upon hearing Wei Kai's questioning, his heart moved and he continued with the words. Wei Shimingjian, my elder brother is from the Baiha gang. I have been following my brother since I was young and have learned some disrespectful three-legged cat kung fu. Sect Disciple Wang Meng withdrew his gaze, as if lost in thought. Wei Kai looked coldly at Chao Su and said, Since that's the case, why didn't you explain it clearly when recruiting? Chao Su said wrongly, when I was recruiting, I didn't ask if I knew martial arts. I just came here to find a stable livelihood and didn't think much about it. So, is it still my problem? Wei Kai's tone was not good, and he pressed towards Chao Su with a substantial momentum. It's like being ready to take action and kill him at any moment. Chao Su was greatly shocked and quickly apologized, Master Wei, forgive me. I am truly a good citizen. Wei Kai was also known as scaring Chao Su. He knew that what Chao Su said was true. When recruiting on that day, it was indeed mentioned that Brother Chao Su was from the Baiha gang, but it was said that he was an ordinary gang member and had been disabled by someone, so he didn't pay much attention. Over the years, although the martial arts school has recruited many disciples, it has been making every effort to avoid direct contact with the members of the gang. These gangs, you hit me today and I will destroy you tomorrow, the conflict between them is too deep. If the person in charge learns Iron Fist, it will be related to the martial arts school in terms of cause and effect. The martial arts school is a neutral force, and Wang Meng has always emphasized this. So, after all, it's still Wei Kai's problem. It's okay, ordinary members of the gang can't learn the advanced martial arts of the gang, and there is no hierarchy. Besides, the downfall of the Baiha gang a few days ago has already become a thing of the past. Wang Meng spoke up and made a final decision on this matter. Since the owner said it's okay, then it's really okay. Wei Kai regained his momentum. Chao Su's body shook and almost fell. Wang Meng asked with great interest, Have you learned Iron Fist? Chao Su gritted his head and said, After practicing recklessly with everyone, I still don't understand the essence. What he said is not clear in essence, referring to the fact that he has not yet mastered Iron Fist at home. Upon hearing this, Wang Meng and Wei Kai thought that what he was saying lacked the guidance of a martial artist and lacked the essence. Without the guidance of a martial artist, it is absolutely impossible to learn the essence of Iron Fist. So Wang Meng and Wei Kai didn't think much, and Chao Su might have just learned a superficial approach. After thinking for a moment, Wang Meng pondered and said, Since you have good talent, let's practice Iron Fist with the martial artist tomorrow. Even the low dot level martial arts in the gang can be practiced to the point of surging qi and blood. In Wang Meng's eyes, Chao Su was indeed worthy of the four words, talented. 
As for the identity issue, Wei Kai will verify it later. If it is true as Chao Su said, he has only learned some martial arts from the gang. That won't be a big problem. After listening, Chao Su's face showed joy. You really saved ten tails of silver. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to express my gratitude. Thank you very much to the museum owner and deputy museum owner. Wei Kai remained cold-faced and ignored Chao Su. Wang Meng chuckled and turned his gaze back to the field. Chao Su cleverly dodged aside. Don't disturb the big shots watching. After a while, I heard the report from the martial arts master downstairs. Yu Wu. Iron Fist, the first glimpse into the path. According to the division of the Great Realm, Iron Fist refers to Xiao Cheng, De Sheng, and Shenhua. Before Xiao Cheng, the martial arts school specifically divided several differences. They are the first glimpse of the door, the first or second knowledge, and the entry into the room. Among them, reaching the stage of entering the room means that breaking through to Xiao Cheng is not far away. When everyone heard the news, they whispered and discussed it around. It's been almost a year now, and Yu Wu is still getting his first glimpse of the path. After the big exam, what face does he have to stay in the martial arts school? Yeah, it seems that his martial arts talent is really poor. Even if his family is wealthy, it's useless. Waste wood is waste wood. The controversial Yu Wu stood on the field, his face very ugly. For a whole year, there has been no progress in martial arts. Why? The warrior shook his head. It is rare for someone with such poor talent. Generally speaking, practicing iron fist is not difficult. After three to five months, even if one cannot reach the level of small success, they still have some knowledge. Practicing like this for a year is still the first glimpse into the path, and it is also one of the best. Chao Su on the high platform. Take out a pen and take notes. Subsequently, numerous external and internal disciples were showcased one by one. At the fifth round of display, a disciple from an external sect suddenly trembled all over. Dao Dao's white chi rises, chi and blood surge, entering a breakthrough state. Oh. Someone broke through. Everyone's eyes lit up. Chao Su's eyes lit up. After watching numerous inner disciples demonstrate their martial arts, this outer disciple accumulated knowledge and attempted to break through on the spot. He is the third son of the Li family in Buxing, who entered the third month of his career and can be considered exceptionally talented. The recruitment of disciples is handled by Wei Kai, who knows all external disciples. He introduced himself to Wang Meng on the side. Wang Meng smiled and nodded, feeling very satisfied. The young people in the martial arts school have been in good form lately. Did two disciples break through last month? Yes, Hu Zhe broke through on his own, and Chen Feng broke through on the spot after practicing. Wei Kai had a clear understanding of his disciples' breakthroughs. Can I still pick up items so far away? Chao Su instinctively took a few steps forward. Approached the venue to observe breakthroughs. Wang Meng and Wei Kai are not surprising either. For them, this breakthrough is not very interesting and they have experienced it countless times before. These young people, who have just practiced martial arts for a short time, have the intention to observe and observe, which is actually normal. After a while, he drank heavily. Li Sanlang followed the iron fist technique and suddenly unleashed a powerful punch. Qi and blood surge, and the strength of the fist technique is fully integrated. Arriving at the level of small success. The inner and outer disciples who were watching on the side quickly sent another wave of rainbow farts. Brother Li has a brilliant talent and is indeed a descendant of the Wuxiu star. Brother Li has developed, don't forget him. Chao Su looked at it but felt a bit sad. He felt that the punch that Li Sanlang threw during this breakthrough was just like that, as if his five success force could also reach this level when practicing martial arts. Unexpectedly, without realizing it, he was no longer the kind of vegetable chicken that could be easily pinched. 
In a daze, white light arrived as promised. The character panel pops up. Name. Chao Su. Identity. Ordinary ordinary people in Pingcheng. Martial arts. Iron Fist Martial Arts Realm. Not entering the current item. Iron Fist Essence, usable, sure enough, I am still suitable for picking up leaks. Chao Su defined this panel as a micro-lying type panel. At this moment, the feeling of getting something for nothing still made him feel a little ashamed. But in the blink of an eye, he was thrown out of his mind. When he couldn't get something for nothing, he still worked very hard to cultivate. There's nothing shameful about picking up a leak based on one's abilities. Besides, no one knows. After comforting himself for a while, he happily retreated. Wei Kai and Wang Meng looked at him with a happy expression of picking up his father and burst into laughter. Sure enough. Still a child in the subsequent basic assessment, no one made any further breakthroughs. The big exam quickly entered the second stage, practical experience. Through drawing lots and ranking, some people are happy while others are worried. Some people take turns, while others have to fight against the inner sect veteran in the first round. Chao Su's experience in battles is not very rich, but he enjoys watching actual battles with great interest. He is responsible for recording Wei Kai's ratings for each inner disciple. There are four levels. A, B, C, and D. In practical assessment, besides victory or defeat, Wei Kai's scoring is also quite important. The rating obtained will directly affect the relevant treatment of the disciples in the next three months. As there is no such thing as treatment for external disciples, Wei Kai will not give a score. In this competition, Hu Zhe, who has just entered the inner gate, shone brightly. Hu Zhe was idle in the first round. In the second round, with a dark horse stance, he defeated the senior player ranked high in the inner gate, the old master from the inner sect has been practicing Iron Fist for three years, and he is only one step away from reaching his ultimate level. Being defeated by the newcomers is truly surprising. Hu Zhe became famous overnight. Wei Kai gave a rating on A. Chao Su heard Wang Meng and Wei Kai talking. It seems that he intends to take Hu Zhe as his personal disciple. Among the 26 disciples in this inner sect, three of them are Wang Meng's personal disciples. My personally transmitted disciples are at least at the level of Iron Fist. Chao Su listened on the side. Wang Meng was careless and didn't say anything to avoid anyone. Wei Kai frowned and said softly, although this disciple has outstanding talent, after all, his entry time is too short. He can enter the inner sect, so he needs to be cautious when passing it on personally. Passing on disciples personally means entering the core circle of the martial arts school. Essentially, there is not much difference between the status and strength of a martial artist. As it concerns the rise and fall of the martial arts school, Wei Kai had to be cautious. Wang Meng nodded and accepted the advice of his sworn brothers. Okay, then observe for a while longer. The martial arts school is thriving day by day, and he doesn't insist on accepting a personal disciple. It was just a momentary surge of love for talent. The big exam didn't come to an end until evening. The final first and second names are both the personal disciples of the museum owner. Both of the two disciples who passed down their martial arts skills were accomplished with iron fists. They had already reached the threshold of their power realm and started fighting with their fists to the point of flesh, with a cold and piercing style that made the onlookers exclaim in pleasure. In fact, Su Wang, the top scorer in the inner gate, has always been overwhelming Ji Chiu, the second. Although Ji Chiu's martial arts are also fierce, his strength is clearly weaker than Su Wang's. After dozens of moves, there are already frequent dangers, and losing is only a matter of time. I'm going to lose. Don't use ten moves. Wang Meng looked at it with great interest for a while before giving his conclusion. As soon as the words fell, Ji Chiu's breath suddenly surged. Boom! He swung an iron fist that became incredibly powerful, 
with a fierce intent in surging blood and energy. Su Wang's face suddenly changed, and when he wanted to temporarily avoid the sharpness, he couldn't help but avoid it. Bite your teeth and choose the vertical arm grill. The difference in fist power is too great, only by blocking can one withstand the attack. The fact proves that his judgment is correct. After changing the boxing style in a timely manner, this block was just right. Bang! Although the whole person was still thrown out and fell to the ground in a miserable state. But fortunately, I wasn't hurt much, I just looked a bit embarrassed. Su Wang's body is indeed very strong. He stood up, looking shocked and incredulous. Power Realm Standing over there, Ji Chiu's aura was completely different. The season of autumn, with a surge in breath, emitted terrifying fluctuations of qi and blood throughout. From afar, Chao Su could feel the scorching heat like a scorching sun. Wang Meng and Wei Kai both descended from the high platform. Wang Meng shouted loudly, Akiyu has broken through the power realm. The disciples have taken ten steps back and cannot move forward. The owner's authority is even stronger, who dares not listen. Everyone retreated one after another, leaving room for Ji Chiu to break through. Is this the realm of power? Chao Su didn't need to take ten steps back, he was already quite far away. He could feel that Ji Chiu's qi and blood had become very strange. If the qi and blood that had just broken through before were of external dispersion type, then at this moment, his qi and blood seemed to be constantly being restrained. Ji Chiu closed her eyes and sat cross-legged. Wang Meng took out a bottle of elixir from his pocket. Take it down. Intermediate Qi and Blood Pill. The realm of strength is still related to the breakthrough of Qi and Blood. This breakthrough is like a grand summary of all previous breakthroughs, elevating the overall physical fitness of the person to an incredible level. After taking the Qi and Blood Pill, Ji Chiu's breath surged again. This breakthrough formation is much larger than the formation that Disciple Iron Fist Xiao Cheng broke through before. Unexpectedly, among the disciples passed down by the inner sect, it was Ji Chiu who broke through first. You know, Su Wang had always been holding on to Ji Chiu's head before, and everyone thought Su Wang would break through first. At this moment, everyone's attention was focused on Su Wang and Ji Chiu. Nowadays, the outcome of a big competition is no longer important. The most important thing is for someone to break through their limits. Power Realm Warriors are true masters. All families will be honored as guests of honor. The hierarchy is different. From now on, Ji Chiu is no longer a disciple, but a martial artist. When Su Wang saw Ji Chiu, he also called him Ji Shi. Su Wang was staring fixedly over there. Not a word was spoken. His expression became increasingly complex. At this moment, Chao Su, who ran into the crowd to watch, should be the happiest one. He really didn't want to go pick up the leak. He was already satisfied with receiving an iron fist essence today, but he didn't expect someone to give him a big gift package as he was about to finish work. I am truly ashamed. Although ashamed, my body couldn't help but take a few steps forward. Your strength is too weak, don't get too close. Chen Feng saw that Chao Su was actually pushing forward and angrily scolded him. It's okay, I'll just take a look. I won't go in. Upon hearing this, Chao Su obediently stopped his steps. I'm in a good mood. In the air. The joy of lying down and winning permeates everywhere. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Refinement. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Refinement Martial Arts School. Everyone witnessed the birth of the new power realm. The so dot called power realm refers to the ability to penetrate through hundreds of acupoints and transform into the mortal realm. Those who can enter the realm of power are already very human from a life-level perspective, and even their lifespan has greatly increased. Ordinary people can live for about 70 years without illness or disaster, 
while those in the realm of strength can exceed a hundred years old. Of course, in general, one cannot live for so long. Just like an ordinary person, how can they live to be seventy years old? In this world, an ordinary person is already old at the age of fifty. Many disciples are envious. As soon as you enter the power realm, you become a martial artist, with different levels. Amidst envy, there is also a hint of awe. The gap is too big. Once entering the realm of power, it is far beyond the ability of ordinary people to resist. Su Wang's martial arts skills were not even flown by Ji Chui's punches. After Ji Chui broke through and engaged in serious combat, he would probably be able to kill Su Wang alive with three or five punches. It's impossible to fight beyond the level. This is also a rare place in terms of strength, far surpassing ordinary martial artists who break through qi and blood. On the field, Ji Chiu's breakthrough is nearing its end. The strong power of qi and blood became increasingly scorching. Forced the disciple to retreat again. Just listen to a long whistle. The rising aura of autumn has finally stabilized. After standing up, the whole person's eyes were electrified and their momentum was fierce. No one dares to look at it. Except for Chao Su. Chao Su clearly saw a bright white light breaking through the air. Then it flashed away, and the panel popped out again. Name. Chao Su. Identity. Ordinary ordinary people in Pingcheng. Martial Arts. Iron Fist Martial Arts Realm. Not entering the current item. Iron Fist Essence, usable, Iron Fist Power Realm Essence, unavailable, Iron Fist Power Realm Essence. Chao Sushi worries about half a ginseng. The item was picked up from the authentic Power Realm Warrior Breakthrough. At first glance, it looks like high dot end goods. At least it's also related to the Realm of Power. But it can't be used this is the first time Chao Su has encountered an unusable situation. Of course, his experience in using panels is not particularly extensive. Guess it's because he's too inexperienced now, and there's still some distance to reach the power realm. But no matter what. Joining the martial arts school is indeed the best start. The martial arts school never sweeps the broom and treasures itself. Practicing martial arts skills is often grand and open to observation. Many other sects, if anyone breaks through, will choose a secluded place to practice in seclusion. It is also possible that the current level is too low. Breakthroughs like this can be achieved with just a cup of tea, there's no need to hide. Chao Su carefully observed the essence of the Iron Fist Power Realm, and from the name alone, it must be related to the Power Realm. Even if it doesn't work, it's exciting. Are we about to start exploring the power realm for cultivation? You should know that at this moment, his chi and blood have only completed a breakthrough, and his overall cultivation has only been half a month. His thoughts surged, but his expression remained unchanged. Soon, the essential item inside the martial arts school. Rainbow fart. Came one after another. This time, it was praised by the martial artists with an arched hand. Ji Shi is indeed a dragon and phoenix among people. He advanced to the power realm at a young age and is truly a model of martial arts schools. Our sweat, our sweat. Sure enough, it was in the same lineage. Chao Su's head swelled as he thought that one day when he broke through, he would also be surrounded like this. This does not conform to his low dot key persona. Wang Meng laughed heartily and said, All right, you don't have to boast anymore. Breaking through the power realm, although rare, is also a new starting point for martial arts. Chiu Er still needs to work hard. His gaze was full of affirmation. Upon hearing these words, Ji Chiu immediately arched his hand. I will strictly abide by my master's orders. Today is such a joyful day, we should celebrate it well said a martial artist with a smile. The breakthrough of qi and blood warriors is not a big deal. But for those who break through the realm of power, this is enough to celebrate wildly. The high.end combat power of the martial arts school has been enhanced, 
and in the future, the discourse power in the Pingqing Martial Arts School Alliance will also be higher. The higher the power of speech, the better the resources. The Wan Family Martial Arts School has a more promising future, and everyone's value also rises. Everyone prospers, everyone loses. Wang Meng said boldly, Okay, since that's the case, let's not leave today. Someone, set up a banquet. There has always been a chef in the martial arts school who is responsible for making lunch. The cook was originally planning to leave, but he didn't expect to have to work overtime. Although working overtime, there is nothing unpleasant about it. Serve these gentlemen well, and don't even open your eyes when giving rewards. Many of them are experts in the realm of power. Chao Su was also left behind. He, whose food has always been average, had a big meal. Have a full meal. The guests were overjoyed. After drinking dozens of jars of old wine, everyone collapsed on the ground in a state of confusion. Chao Su was not drunk. It's not because he has a good tolerance for alcohol. But his status was too low, and no one came to toast him. Hu Zhe, Chen Feng, and Ji Qiu, who had just advanced to the power realm, were all drunk down. Chao Su and others, who were not drunk, prepared to bid farewell and leave. Deep at night, the peaceful city is quiet and serene. Hurry up, it's time for a curfew. Someone whispered beside Chao Su. Kind-hearted people online reminders. Chao Su turned his head to look, somewhat surprised. Leave him a graceful figure of getting on the car. It's the useless young master from the Yu family. Oh, there's still a carriage at home. My family is really well dot off. Yu Wu just casually reminded Chao Su to leave immediately after getting on the car. Chao Su didn't think much, changed direction, and went home. If it had been so late a few days ago, I would have been very anxious. But to this day, with the progress of martial arts skills, my heart has relaxed a lot. The dark streets are no longer so ferocious in appearance. After becoming more sensitive to facial features, the smell of blood and corpse on the street corner becomes clearer and more distinguishable. After passing through the bamboo alley, he began to accelerate his running. Nowadays, his physical fitness has greatly increased. Not only has strength increased, but reaction, speed, and agility have all been enhanced. Chi and blood surged like a gallop. I'm almost in front of my own courtyard. Chao Su's heart moved, taking three steps and two steps, bending his knees and exerting force. Chi and blood penetrate both legs. The whole person jumped up half a zhang high lightly. With a contraction of his legs, he went straight over. Dong! Just the sound of landing. It was still too loud and alarmed the whole family inside. Chao's father took the lead and opened the door with a creaking sound, protruding half of his head. ASU. Even in the deep night, I couldn't see Chao Su's face clearly. But this body shape is still very familiar. My guard relaxed. It's me, I'm back. Chao Su walked into the room. Did you drink alcohol? Chao Mu walked over and smelled the faint smell of alcohol on Chao Su's body. Smelling is an essential skill for all married women. Chao Su nodded and said, Today's martial arts school exam. After the exam, the master of the school hosted a banquet for the whole school and had some wine. Is the owner so generous? Chao's father was a bit envious, he hadn't had a drink for a long time. Chao's father joked, ASU is really promising. Even the owner of the restaurant is going to treat you to dinner. Chao Su took out a few chicken legs from his arms, which were still emitting a bit of heat on the table. He smiled and said, All right, I don't have that much face. The owner of the martial arts school was very satisfied with our big exam. Someone directly advanced to the level of strength in the venue, greatly increasing the strength of the martial arts school. He briefly explained, and Chao's father and mother probably understood. Powerful martial artists even ordinary people like them have heard of this term. 
It is said that as long as one becomes a martial artist in the realm of power, one can become a guest of honor for many families, and thus move on to another level. To stand out from the crowd is to step down from the mortal world. Eat quickly, I've had enough today. Unfortunately, the martial arts school does not provide packing boxes, otherwise all these foods can be packed back. Chow Su dislikes wasting the most. As soon as he thinks about the food wasted on the table today, he seems to see the splashing waves of silver thrown into the water tank. Ah Xing, let's eat. Ah Nyan is not hungry. Chao's mother smiled and pushed the food in front of Chao Xing. Although Father Chao didn't speak, he still looked like I was very full and didn't want to eat. Chao Xing, who had been somewhat silent lying in bed. My eyes immediately turned red. The next day. Chao Su woke up in the morning to exercise. The two items he picked up yesterday are still waiting for him to use. Iron Fist Essence, Iron Fist Power Realm Essence. The essence of Iron Fist's Power Realm cannot be used, so he chose to use Iron Fist's Essence. Boom! In the next moment, there will be no waves of chi and blood in the body. The breath is rapidly surging, and countless pieces of information are overwhelming my mind. Iron Fist seems to have been rehearsed countless times, and the progress bar moves forward crazily. He opened his eyes. Full of energy and abundant physique. At some point, qi and blood began to self-activate. Just an illusion in an instant, and the qi and blood gradually subsided. Subsequently, he exhaled a mouthful of turbid air. Iron fists are clear to the chest, practicing each move one by one. In the past, Iron Fist took a tough and aggressive route, emphasizing speed, ferocity, and weight. But today this Iron Fist was fought incredibly slowly. Although slow, it consumes more energy. In no time, he was covered in sweat. Ha! After a while, Chao Su exhaled as if he had opened his mouth, and his Iron Fist was hammered out with a loud bang. The fist wind is scattered everywhere, and the strength is at least 30% heavier than before. Almost reached the pinnacle of success. The iron fist of the Deshang realm is round and smooth, capable of both offense and defense. Chao Su's blood and energy were fierce just now, and his strength was full, but it seemed that he was still a little short of reaching the level of Deshang. Although there was no breakthrough, it was still a significant improvement. According to the realm division, this should be the peak of Xiaocheng. The ultimate realm requires a breakthrough in qi and blood. Chao Su felt that his physique had become stronger, and the muscles on his chest and arms were clearly defined. If this continues, he will have no connection with being thin and weak. A discerning person can tell from a glance that they are skilled practitioners. Sure enough, despite his strength, he still couldn't keep a low profile. Not to mention being seen through by Wang Meng immediately, everyone can see through it, it seems like we need to find an opportunity to casually throw out the first layer of vest. Wang Meng has already spoken up and asked Chao Su to find a serious martial artist in a martial arts school to learn the essence of Iron Fist. Later, he will learn the essence and find an appropriate opportunity to expose the fact that he has reached the level of Xiaocheng. He should be able to build the first layer of armor. At that time, the people outside thought he was a beginner in the martial arts school. The people in the martial arts school thought he was a genius of Iron Fist Xiaocheng. Only he himself knew that his breakthrough was imminent, and he had already looked into the realm of power from afar. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Evil Mansion. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Evil Mansion the next day. Chao Su entered the martial arts school. Today is his first day as an outsider disciple. There is a martial artist responsible for teaching him the essence of Iron Fist. There are a total of seven martial artists in the martial arts school. But not all seven warriors are responsible for teaching. For example, like Ji Chiu, who just broke through the power realm. Although he has good talent and strong strength, his time of practicing Iron Fist is not long. 
In terms of understanding Iron Fist, he may not be as good as some inner disciples. So now there are three martial artists responsible for teaching the essence of Iron Fist. The three old martial artists are all quite young. They have been wandering in the old martial arts world for many years. When they retire, they stay at the headquarters of the martial arts school. It's not surprising that Chao Su became an outsider disciple. Chao Su is a rare excellent colleague who can read and write. Previously, guys like Chao Su had also learned Iron Fist and obtained the status of external disciples. For staff, this may be the legendary unit welfare. For the unit, why not engage in this soliciting behavior of soliciting people for free? After all, martial artists have to work. The old warrior happily met Chao Su and others, and called them over. In the courtyard, everyone knows each other. Among you, except for Chao Su, none of you are considered beginners. The essence of practicing Iron Fist lies in perseverance. As the saying goes, three years of practicing fist, five years of practicing mind, one path of martial arts, one step at a time, there is no shortcut. The old warrior first imparted a lesson. The disciples listened very attentively and took matters seriously. Only after listening, Chao Su felt a little guilty. Picking up a loophole based on one's abilities shouldn't be considered a shortcut, right? Iron Fist, as the name suggests, is the best basic body refining technique, with a fist like iron and a body like steel. At present, the Iron Fist taught by our Wang Martial Arts School has a total of 8 moves and 17 movements, which is one more move and 3 movements than the ordinary Iron Fist circulating in the market. It can be considered as our school's unique skill. Chao Su listened very attentively. Although he had already learned the entire set of Wang's Iron Fist in his mind, it seemed like he had copied and pasted it directly, and he didn't eat it deep enough. The systematic explanation and sharing of experiences with others will help him further understand Iron Fist techniques. The old martial artist is indeed very professional in imparting knowledge and dispelling doubts. Introduce and promote Iron Fist to the disciples word by word. After some theoretical knowledge, Start 1. On point 1 Physical Teaching. When it was time to teach Chao Su, the old warrior explained in more detail. Every action speaks of the methods and essentials of exerting force. Chao Su listened very attentively, and naturally began to integrate several previously dysfunctional areas. Master Tang, Iron Fist is the highest. What level of cultivation can one reach? After practicing, Chao Su chatted with the old martial artist for a while. The old martial artist's surname is Tang and he has been in the martial arts school for 12 years. In these 12 years, I have taught countless inner and outer disciples. Chao Su was not the first disciple to ask such a question. He smiled and said, the highest level of Iron Fist is naturally to return to simplicity, like our master, Iron King Fist, Wang Meng, which is this level. Returning to simplicity and simplicity is the term used by old scholars. It wasn't called returning to simplicity and simplicity before, it was called perfection. Dot. Being extraordinary has also become popular in the past two years, formerly known as peak. Dot. Xiaocheng, Desheng, peak, and perfection. The vast majority of martial arts in this world can be divided into these realms. Some martial arts are relatively simple and can easily reach the state of perfection, while others may not be able to enter the martial arts world for the rest of their lives. Everyone has different talents. Tang Wuxia was knowledgeable and knowledgeable, and with these words, he answered some of Chao Su's original doubts. He used to be very strange before, how could he become so brilliant after his childhood and adulthood? It turns out he still had a former name. That popular name may not necessarily be good, or a former name may sound more comfortable. Chao Su, what else do you want to know? Tang Wuxia chuckled. Chao Su arched his hand and said, Teacher Tang, can you talk about the realm of power? I am more interested in the division of martial arts realm for martial artists. 
In Chao Su's eyes, Tang Wuxia had already become an NPC grandpa and quickly asked all the questions he wanted to ask. Tang Wuxia is very talkative and lacks the domineering aura of a powerful martial artist. It is also said that Chao Su is ambitious. After a moment of pause, he said, martial artists in the realm of power are actually a division of the entire realm. Only those who can enter the realm of power can truly enter the door of cultivation. In other words, you will only understand after entering the power realm that this power realm is just the beginning. Is strength the starting point? Chao Su was secretly shocked. The strongest person he is currently in contact with is nothing more than a power realm master. Like the owner and deputy owner, they are all experts in the realm of power. The owner of the museum, Wang Meng, is rumored to be a top dot notch expert in Pingcheng. Unexpectedly, in the eyes of Tang Wuxia, this is only the beginning. The old warrior was very satisfied with Chao Su's shocked expression. Only with respect can there be progress. When practicing martial arts, one is afraid of pride and arrogance. He continued, as you enter the realm of power, your strength greatly increases. Your martial arts strength is by no means unmatched by inexperienced warriors. Not in the flow. Chao Su's heart moved as he saw the word. On the panel, the evaluation of one's martial arts realm is not entering the mainstream. He quickly asked, Master Tang, does not entering the realm refer to warriors who have not broken through the power realm? The old warrior was taken aback for a moment, not expecting this outsider to be entangled in the issue of not being able to enter the mainstream. He thought for a moment and said, There is indeed this saying, but it is not widely circulated. When I was wandering in the martial arts world before, I heard people say this and have been using it as a description. Chao Su nodded. The old warrior continued, The division of martial arts realm you want to know usually starts from the realm of strength. You should know that there are nine levels of power in the realm, and the most common one is someone like me who, despite entering the power realm, spends his whole life stepping in the ninth level. So as I get older, there's not much difference between me and an ordinary warrior, so I have to do a job in the martial arts school. Level 9 of Power Realm No wonder the old martial artist has been saying that there is a big gap between power levels. A realm is divided into nine levels, and the gap is definitely large. Chao Su guessed in his heart that he didn't know the strength of Wang Meng and Wei Kai. The old warrior didn't mean to tell him what level of power the master and vice master were. I probably think it's a bit too early. You don't have to think about weak energy levels now. First, lay a solid foundation and strive to practice iron fist to a small level within a year, completing a breakthrough in qi and blood. It should be noted that only by completing a breakthrough in qi and blood within a year can there be a possibility of entering the realm of power in the future. Otherwise, it will be difficult to step into this level throughout one's lifetime. Chao Su had heard of what the old martial artist said later. The reason why the martial arts school sets the time for practicing martial arts as one year is due to certain considerations. It's not that if we can't break through within a year, we won't break through in the future. Some martial artists have the potential to break through qi and blood in their later lives. Even this can lead to a stronger body, much stronger than those who have not practiced martial arts. But by then, if qi and blood break through again, in fact, all potential has already been consumed. Not to mention the power realm, it is a second breakthrough in qi and blood, and it is also far away and hopeless. You should know that the more times qi and blood break through, the greater the future potential. This is the stage of laying the foundation. All warriors will walk step by step with their feet on the ground. Chao Su listened attentively to the old martial artist explain these martial arts knowledge. Unconsciously, we chatted until evening. All right, it's getting late. Go back early. Today is your first time practicing, and I gave you a rough idea. Starting tomorrow, the main focus will be on imparting the essence of Iron Fist. Please prepare early. The old warrior waved his hand and signaled for Chao Su to leave. Chao Su stood up solemnly and bowed his hand to thank him. 
I have gained too much today. For a long time, he has been on the side of information asymmetry. Although entering the path of martial arts cultivation, I still have a partial understanding of this industry, like a mist, and cannot see it clearly. Through today's understanding, the world of warriors slowly opened its mysterious veil in his eyes. Night has just begun to fall. At the end of Julin Alley. The dark green bamboo forest rustled in the wind. A black shadow appeared on the high courtyard wall. A tall and sturdy man wearing a straw hat walked into the courtyard. He took two steps and squatted down. I saw black powder on the ground. Pinched the powder and smelled it, it seemed to have a slight burnt smell. In no time, two more people in black rushed into the empty courtyard. Sir, we searched once but couldn't find it. The man stood up and remained silent. After a long time, he suddenly asked, where have the Chu siblings gone? One of the people in black behind answered with a fist clasped in his hand. Red Eagle Letter Yesterday, the Chu siblings had already crossed the border of Jiangzhou Prefecture and will be able to enter Pingqing tomorrow morning. Oh! The man's spirit was shaken. Tomorrow will arrive, much earlier than expected. You guys guard your house tonight and don't make any mistakes. After giving a command, the black-clothed people behind should all be in unison. The man carefully searched the house again and found nothing. Where exactly is that thing? Tomorrow. The puzzle is about to be solved tomorrow. His mood has also improved. At this moment, a sudden explosion came from outside. The gate of the house was torn apart by someone. A man holding a long sword and wearing armor suddenly killed in. Subsequently, Yu Guan killed several strong armored warriors. Fu Jun. How could the government army be here? The man was panicked and showed a look of resentment. However, there was no one to answer his question. The centurion of the prefectural army, led by him, rushed to his front in the blink of an eye. His long sword swung out of fierce training in the air, and the icy sword aura overflowed with cold light. He let out a scream and jumped up. But the man in black behind him didn't react so quickly. In an instant. There's no time to dodge. The short sword in hand hastily and weakly resisted. Then they were split apart with their swords. Puff. Blood light explodes. The doors were all torn apart, let alone human beings. The man turned his head and rushed out as soon as he saw the centurion of this mansion army so fierce that he dared not speak. The murderous centurion of the mansion army chased after him and shouted. Fengqing Lord's order, kill the demon cult demons. End of this chapter.